Hello everybody and welcome back to the ESL AUNZ Chance for Dota 2. We are back for another great week of Dota. I will be your host, Daredevil Dan. Joining me, my boy Woglet. We're back together. I mean, yeah, it's it, it's one week off, but the Dream Team's back. We're good to go. The Dream Team is back indeed. And what a day we've got coming up, man. Honestly, yeah, following the lower brackets where it's at, these guys, this is their last chance, really, yeah. before they have to sit back and watch how the qualifiers run down coming into Stage 2. You really don't want to be losing these games and coming up against the unknown. For sure, yeah. I mean, as you said, the Open Qualifiers coming up, they do start tomorrow. So if you do need to sign up your team, make sure you head over to the ESL website and sign up for the Open Qualifiers, as you will be able to score a couple spots in stage number two. But we're on stage one. We've got all these invited teams, and we can take a look at what we're going to be seeing today. And... I mean, even just taking a look back and looking at seeing the scores, and I mean, Darkseid is the big impressor for me there. Yeah. I'm actually not happy that they're, they're looking at 2 O's because they were close games. Yeah. All of those 2 O's were so close. They could have gone either, especially Darkseid and Zen 9. Zen 9 feels like slighted that they didn't get a point there, honestly. For sure. But if we take a look at our first game of the day today, we're going to have Zen 9 going up against Flashpoint. I'm excited for this game. Yeah, I mean, this is Pride is on the line for Zen 9. They've talked a lot about how they're still the best team, still a really strong force in Dota. Bala's been having a bit of a rough time with his public MMR, and this is where he gets, comes down to can he show off on the main stage. I mean, that's the thing, right? Is that MMR means nothing if you're winning these games. Exactly. Well, I mean, you have to win the games. So that's do, the big you, thing. You do have to win the games. And then obviously after that, we will have the Shutdown Esports Club versus Infinity. But we'll get onto that when we get onto that. We want to focus on Flashpoint versus Zen9. And I mean, Flashpoint did really, really well in different tournaments. Zen9, they, I don't know, man. They just haven't been bringing it yet. And you look at that lineup of that team and you go... That's a top-tier team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all of those names are so, so renowned. They've been around the scene for quite some time. They've won a lot of tournaments each in different teams. Yeah. They've come together. They've tried to make it work. And I think it's just a bit of teething issues. I think we might see a very strong team come out today. I mean, that's the thing, right, is that the, the Zen 9 and 9 name is such a big brand in Oz Dota. They were the gods of Oz for like two and a half, three years. Yeah, I mean, maybe even longer. They pretty much from the start until yeah. from like season the Hans, four. Like the Hans Reborn days into N9, into Zen 9 yeah. now. It, it's, been a, it's been a big ride for them. Yeah. On the plus side, though, it also means Flashpoint Gaming have a lot of games to look back oh, on. Yeah. And their hero pools haven't changed much since 2014, 2015, when the tournament started really starting really to progress. Started kicking out. Yeah, that's that's it. And I mean, that's the, that's the thing, too, is that obviously you've got so much experience. There are a couple of players on Zen 9 that aren't as sort of big into the scene as like some of the others. I mean, they all are kind of, but if you look way back, it's a bit different. Yeah. But then you've got Flashpoint where it's 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 a younger team. Yeah, I mean, definitely an up-and-coming team. They've shown their worth, though. Honestly, every game they play, I'm very impressed with them. And they're not sticking to one style. A lot of the times, they'll just be like, you know what? We're going to throw our style out the window. We're going to play something new. We're going to get a new sub in, and we're going to play around that sub. And not many teams have the confidence and the gusto to actually say, we're going to go four players that are comfortable with each other, and we're going to have one person that's uncomfortable, and we're going to play for them. Yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, you playing around a sub is hard. Yeah. Like, there's not many teams that get the superstar subs, unless you're Atletico, yeah. and you just get star subs every tournament. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, when you've, when you've got subs like Ningy and you've got subs like Rin... Yeah. You're in a you're in a good place, right? You're, you're never going to be upset by those by those two players, but I mean they're not playing to get today, so who cares about them, yeah. right? I mean the big one is cut and paste. We've talked about how how good he is on on the public stage. Mm -hmm. Can he translate it? He looked good last week. He looked yeah. real yeah. real solid. They're not so, doing this kind of like play around cut and paste for protect one thing anymore. Well, they actually did that a bit, but he was fighting, oh. and I I don't know about. Most people in Australian Dota, but I found that very odd to look at. Cut, and, cut paste and paste going, fighting. Cut and paste going to team fights? What's yeah, it's this? Just, it's odd, but I loved it. I, yeah. It was actually a, a new face from him. It's shown a bit of re restraint from his yeah. side. He doesn't like whacking those creeps for 45 minutes and then losing afterwards. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? The 4 Protect 1 used to work. It still could, but it's just so hard to play. Yeah, and you don't want to rely on one person on a team to win you the game. Like, uh, that sort of, especially with the 2 one two kind of play style, like, yeah. you can't just do, like, defensive try lines. They, they don't work that well. We've seen a lot of aggressive tries and, like, a lot of try v tries. 
And I think yeah. that's where Zen 9 aren't their best either, is when Baller isn't protected and he has to fight. Maybe start putting him in the solo lane. Yeah, I'd love to see them try to change it up or even change what he has to pick as a hero. Like, Leech Commander is one of those heroes that does fantastic in a tri lane, has so much AoE damage, can get rid of a teammate's debuffs, obviously, with the um, press the attack. That's a fantastic tri lane hero. I'd love to see them go that style instead of picking the Wraith Kings, the Sven's. Heroes that can really struggle if the tri lane's not built completely around them. Yeah, I mean, you. the problem with those tri tries, right, is you need to be getting a lot of last hits. You need to be getting kills as well. And getting both of those can be very, very dicey. Yeah, I mean, we've seen it happen. We've seen how dicey it can be. So let's hope let's hope something's changed today. I'd love to see a 2-1-2, though. Like, I think Riz is fantastic in a 2-1-2 situation. We've seen his Omni Knight, his Pango picks. Oh. They're just absolutely spot on. That's what he loves. And if you're putting him in a solo lane, you're really wasting that potential. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not one of those players that plays like defensive, boring offlaners that just sit there and get XP. He wants to be fighting, as you said, with the Pango especially. We've been seeing a lot of Pango as well from all the teams. Yeah, and we've it's, been it's fun it. to watch. We've been seeing it in different lanes too. Like I think we've seen it in all three core positions in the last two seasons. So... You, whenever you see that pick, you don't even know where it's going to go. You can't counter pick it because the only real solid counter pick to the Rolling Thunder is Bloodseeker, and you're picking a Bloodseeker. I know full well that hero is trash right now. I, I heard, I, I have heard some teams talking about it at some events. Some whisperings? Yeah, I, I have been hearing the Bloodseeker may oh, it be was a hero. Up in um, WCG recently. It lost, but. <laughs> It got picked up. It looked pretty good in the lanes. It just didn't translate into the late game. Yep, but taking a look at our heads as head, it will be Zen 9 versus Flashpoint. What do you? What What are either of these teams really needing to do in this? I think for Zen 9, you just got to play a slightly altered version of your game. You're going to have EJ coming in today, Illusion Jesus. He's yep. known for being a fantastic mid player. Yep. He needs to be on an aggressive hero. Queen of Pain, Puck, something along those lines. He needs to be the one setting the tone for this team. And if you're not playing that way for Zen 9, you're going to struggle. But on the other side for Flashpoint Gaming, you're going to have to get cut and paste to fight. It's just That's just the way it is. If he's not fighting, then you're not winning. And that's just that's just how it is. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? It's, this isn't a meta where you can just sit around and do whatever you want. You can't just... Ah. Ten seconds remaining. It's, yeah, definitely not. not. I mean, you can you try and get away with it with aggressive other Five cores, but remaining. it's just not great to deal with. It's not great indeed. And taking a look through the bands, nothing too unusual. Uh, Baller's Razor has been banned out, along with the Morph and the Earth Spirit. So, ES being banned out? Is that a, is that a thing? Uh, but either way, I mean, a Flashpoint coming into this, they've got Farnsworth as well, being their, uh, being their backup. So Farnsworth is going to be in there as their uh, sort of, you know, Standard. Yeah, Farnsworth is a pos five. He's, it's quite new to see. I've actually only ever seen him play pos five in pubs twice in my entire life, and both times that's when I snapped at him, like just getting that support role, big dog. Don't complain. In fairness, he did he did pretty well both times. He hasn't actually done anything completely outrageous. He's not one of those core players that can't play support at all. And I think he might have been practicing on the sly. I know he's got a Smurf somewhere hiding around. I mean, out of all of these players, who doesn't? That's the thing, but we we see the Pango taken out, so we talk that up a little bit, and as well, uh, off-camera, uh, you said something about the Shadow Demon, and that's been banned. Oh, I, I actually said that was going to be the Farnsworth pickup, but they're worried about the first pick Shadow Demon, which is fair enough, that hero is getting so much momentum nowadays. Just because it's such an easy hero to play around, it's got some fantastic early game spells. Obviously, the ultimate is ridiculously strong for getting rid of debuffs. Yeah, it's it's, it's insane how much they've changed. They they haven't changed like the Ooh. actual spells, but they've changed how they work a lot. But so we see Zen Nine pick up the Ember, which it's it's an early pick, but it usually gets banned out second phase. And then you 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 a little little owing uh, and ring about the Magnus Dazzle. Uh, not the Magnus. The Magnus is pretty stock standard. You yeah. want to. Like we were talking about with Cut and Base, how he likes to play. What enables him to fight? Empower. And yep. that's what they've given into him. They're like, you know what? You don't need to farm anymore. You can farm fast enough in 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds of the, the, each minute before they creep spawn again, you can come fight with us. Come, Clay. Come fight. <laughs> Clay, please. Come the, play with the team. The Dazzle is the surprising pick yeah. because you don't really see this hero much. The only real tier one team that picks it is 
Matumba man plays it on the mid lane. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I honestly like Dazzle as a core. Um, I've seen uh, Shutdown play it with uh, Go Dot Plus One. Uh, I think it was like the Dazzle Ursa lane, which was really weird because the Ursa was the four. Yeah, it was a Cosy Pos Four yeah. Ursa. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the Dazzle was the the farmer in the lane. But that new Q on Dazzle, it's not that new, but it does so much damage. Yeah, the Poison Touch being able to restart yeah. every time you get that auto attack off. And if you look at Warlock, for instance, a very slow hero. Ember Spirit pre-level 6, he's quite slow, quite easily abusable because he can't get out of those fights. You just start racking up that physical damage because that's what it is. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm interested about the Mars ban as well. I haven't really seen that hero... Like, do that well? Yeah, it's weird because on paper, you look at Mars, you think, that's one of the strongest heroes in the game. Yeah. He's got a fantastic lane-winning spell combination. Like, his spear is ridiculous. His bulwark is a lot, a lot of damage reduction. Yeah. And obviously, his shield bash, or I think it's called that. Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> something it's like just that. a lot of damage, easy to push, and it gives life still on everything you hit. So there aren't many heroes outside of maybe Tidehunter with the Anchor Smash that can get life still on six creeps at once. It's an extra 300 health. It's a free self. But every time he plays, it's just on pa it just paper. It doesn't look that good. good. Yeah. In practice, you're like, uh, eh. he's getting kited around. He's put the ult But he shouldn't down. be able to be kited because he's got an ult that stops him from being kited. But I people just blink out of it. They yeah. jump out of it. They BKB and walk out of it. It just, it never works out as well as you think it does on paper. Yeah, for sure. But we do see the Slark band out now. So, I mean, is that a CMP Five hero, Slark? Uh, I mean... Right now, most cores can play Slark, and Slark is very strong against Ember with that new mechanic. You can no longer slide a fist outside of True, yeah, Root, you can't, and yeah, the pounce is a Root. Up. So you're stuck there. You, you can't slide a fist. You can't fire Remnant out. You can Searing Chains him, but he's got Dark Pact. He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's and he just starts really stealing, especially when you get that Diff Blade. We've seen times where the Diff Blade's stealing and the mana and obviously the stat stealing. All of a sudden, you can't Remnant out. You don't have the Agadims yet. It's not the cheap 25 mana. It's 150, and you get stuck and get killed. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's if you get the jump on him, but the Ursa being banned out by Flashpoint. And I mean, so they've, they've banned two big baller heroes, the Ursa and the Razor. Yeah, I, I think right now, seeing this Ember Spirit, you haven't really seen Bala play that hero much. Nah, so that's, that's got to be an EJ hero. EJ's been playing it quite a bit too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and the Conquer against Ember Spirit, that's a pretty solid matchup. I reckon that goes about 55 45 to Kunker. Yeah. Especially with a nice rotation, Ember Spirit can't really get rid of. Both the X marks and whatever stun comes on board, but it, God, I'd love to see that as a pos four. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the Kunker core. I'd honestly, looking at this lineup, I prefer Dazzle to be the core over the Kunker. Right now, it'd be more interesting to see Dazzle core Kunker yeah. pos four because we've seen the rotations that Kunker can do. Back in the day, Friffles the, the used frith, to be the known frith God for Kunker it. and the Spirit Breaker. Yes, also. yes, yes. It's been left in the pool. I didn't want to say anything in case <laughs> I jinxed it, but it's in. Yes, I love this. But for those of you who don't know, Woglet's only like thing that he was ever good at in competitive Dota was playing Spirit. I Rainbow. never got to play it in competitive. Yeah, I'd because you weren't in that position anymore. No, because I kept banning it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd even play it five, and they'd be like, "No, nah, no, nah, we'll still ban it." Like, yeah, it's, we'll if you're gonna respect ban one hero on me, it's Spirit Breaker. Yeah. Now, well, that's because Bloodseek is not actually a good hero, and that's the only other hero you know how to play. So. I mean, I know a few more, but yeah. yeah. Your silence I was, is pretty good, mate. Oh, my silence is renowned. <laughs> if it's world renowned, it's got to be good, right? right? No one remembers the fact it was trash. <laughs> Everyone remembers it was trash. Don't worry, no, buddy. I still, I still have like, I still wake up in the middle of the night crying with sweats, being like, why did they pick it? Why oh. did they pick it? We could have won that season. Yeah, but right now, Zen Nine are in the driving seat. They've yeah. got the Spirit Breaker, which is a fantastic counter to Dazzle and Kunker. They've got the Ember, which is just a nice, well-rounded hero. And Warlock, every time we see it get picked, it looks good. The Bonds, the yeah. drop the, of the Golem, and all of a sudden you win the team fight. Fa fatal Bonds with an Ember Spirit too is so scary. Like, you, you get a Fatal Bonds on a couple of people, one slide of fist, and all of a yeah. sudden the supports are, are dead. Slight assist, one mouse from proc here and there. You're all dead. <laughs> yes. it's, a really, it's a really tough one to play against. But, uh, I mean, Warlock, as you said, it, it looks good. But the problem is a lot of Warlocks are picked around teams that are all high cooldown. So I like the fact that their other two heroes so far don't rely on level six like cooldowns. It's not like yeah. a one more combo oh, is kind of the game. For. Nice pick up, a nice little debuff remover, a nice strong solid hero. The Guardian Angel is fantastic against Slide of Fist. Yep. But it's really making it hard to see where the cores are going to be because Magnus, Dazzle, and Kunkka, 
Not all of them can be calls anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure the Magnus is uh, support. I haven't seen it play core for like it, it seems more on support than core at the moment. Um, can, I mean, if we look at it not weirdly, right? We've got an Omni Knight off lane with a plus one, maybe even the Dazzle. That honestly sounds so scary. Yeah, to play it's just against. so hard to look at because you think they're playing with cut and paste, who's relatively new for the team, and they've cut, they've got Farnsworth in, and he's pretty much been their six man, their, their coach era level. Yeah. Player. So he knows the strats, but he's got his own hero pool coming in, and that's why we're seeing a draft that's completely unlike anything we've seen before. But Zen 9, are they going to be worried about it? I think they might just pick their own heroes and say, you know what? We trust ourselves. And that's the Spectre Warlock combo. Yeah. So, I mean, how to win a team fight? Fatal Bonds into Alt, into Spectre Alt. Yeah. I mean, with the Barrow making space for your Spectre, and obviously the Warlock saving your lane. It has locked in who's playing what, though. Yeah. So, obviously, this POS4 is definitely going to be the Spirit Breaker. You're definitely going to have Roger Dodger having fun with that. Shatan, POS5, Warlock. I'd like to see that combo done. And then, obviously, EJ, we talked about it. He's the Ember Spirit player. Yeah. Bala, he's playing the Spectre. But oh, you've left Riz. So, they have to... They have to ban out a new hero. The Pango's already gone. They've the banned out the Timber. The Centaur's still in the pool, which they could pick up. Mm. They've taken the, his Omni Knight, and he's known for a very strong Omni Knight. So if you're if you're Zen Nine right now, the Sand now, King's also still in the pool. They could they could run him on the Sand King. I was going to say Sand King with Warlock and Spectre. That's yeah. a nice little combo. We've seen it before, and it really cleaned house. Yeah, I mean that's the thing too. When you've got a team like Zen Nine who know how to play around each other very well, playing in this team when fight, the Dark kind of thing, gets banned. Yeah. Playing in this team fight kind of situation is fine for Zen Nine. Like they're happy to play that. But as you said, the Darkseer being banned. I, I mean, Darkseer Spirit Breaker would have been real yeah, filthy. Th honestly, Darkseer, every time I've seen him recently, I'm just like, meh. He's not doing that but much. But have you seen him with a Spirit Breaker? Yeah, and it still feels like all right for the first 10 minutes, and then it's like, meh. But then the next 10 minutes, you have a Spectre and your Ember Spirit. That's the thing with Darkseer and Spirit Breaker right now. You, you win the lane, and then you're expected to win the game. But what you really want, you want one other core to come help you win that game. Yeah. And they had that in the Ember Spirit. The Warlock just needs to drop a Golem because they can't get on top of him. If you had a tanky POS 3, a tanky POS 4, and you're still going for the Warlock, you're going to get kited, dived, and bombed. Yeah, and it's going to be the Slider. So something that, uh, I mean, I haven't I haven't actually seen a Slider in a little, a little hot minute, you know? The Bash Bros. The Bash Bros. Slider, oh. Spirit Breaker. They're looking for that 17%. Oh, I can slither in. Now it's a guaranteed, but... That used to be the ways of the old. You pick two bash heroes, you both scream 17%, and eventually you get the bash. Eventually you get the bash on the 17%. But yeah, like you can wait for the three stacks on Slider. You can get that last bash in. Spirit Breaker charges in. Crush next. Hope for a 17%. No one really survives that. But then again, you've got an Omni who can survive it. You've and got a Dazzle, dazzle yeah. who can survive it. Like it's not that guaranteed we're going to kill someone in that lane. Yeah. I mean, the big thing is, we haven't seen what their carry's going to be. For Cut and Paste right now, you're looking at what's available. His Jug's been banned. His Troll's been banned. His Slark's been banned. There wasn't much for him to pick, and he goes to the PA. I mean, PA's got a lineup behind her that can keep her alive as well. And you don't have to go Battle Fury, because you've got a Magnus. And you, I don't like Battle Fury on PA anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think you ever go Battle Fury. You get that cleave at level 15 now, so it's fine if you What's really... The, the other 15 is the minus armor? Extra minus armor? Uh, no, that's the 20s that's corruption. I would like to think 15 is lifesteal. I want to say 10 or 15% lifesteal. But you're going to buy it anyway, right? Like, you always well, buy Well, that's the thing. Both of here. those sides, like, you've got a cleave, you got lifesteal. Both of them are fantastic. You're both going to buy one or the other item. See, there's no real loss. No. Uh, it isn't a lot of cleave. It's only, what, 15%? Yeah. So it's not a lot. But, it, I mean, it's still going to help you farm. Plus, when you've got a Magnus on top giving you the rest of the cleave and the extra damage. And yet, we were wrong. It is going to be Lon. Pause 3 Magnus. Okay. Pos four, or pos five, sorry, Omni Knight, and obviously that mid dazzle. That's I like the mid dazzle, dude. Well, at least I hope so because I think Farnsworth will be playing the support role. Like I don't think you send Baboon from his preferred mid role for Farnsworth. Someone else, yeah. I mean, who's the better mid out of Farnsy and Baboon? It's got to be Baboon. He's yeah? he's ranked five hundred. He's been so, he's been solid in yeah. these competitive games. Yeah, he has. He's been looking pretty good. Yeah, and Farnsworth, like he's been a good player. He's been around for a while. But he hasn't been playing in yeah. this top tier level for Oz. He's not exactly that practiced in the top tier at the moment. But as we jump into 
Game number one of our first best of three. Also saying best of three sounds great for ESL, I'm not gonna lie. It just it just feels right. Oh, it There's feels just something right. about it that just sounds good. I just I honestly just prefer best of threes for everything. Like if every qualifier could be best of th- just every game. Just best of three. It's fine. But as we load on in, it does look like you're right, Fanzi will be going into the off lane with corrosive. I'm assuming Kuro will farm it on Omni? Um I'd like to think Corrosive's been playing a lot of offlane, so I yeah. think that's what's going to be happening. Um, I mean, they can always switch it off. If, he, if he's struggling to farm, you've always got the tiebringer that he can, they can rely on that. But It also means, is Lon playing? Lon's support. He's supporting the PA. Yeah, this is a, this is a new thing from Lon. This is, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to it. And then PA obviously going to be your safe lane carry. I mean, it's cut and paste. I don't actually think he can play anything else but carry. No, he can't. I've played Tier 6 Battle Cup with him on non-carry, and he actually loses. Tier that's six. a 7K... Pl- that's two 7K <laughs> players losing Tier 6. And you know why. <laughs> oh, you know why. You know why, indeed. But uh, Red's going to be on that slaughter bottom there. I'm going to spot each other out. Uh, I think a bit of love tap coming out. But this has shown that Lon's playing the lane. Oh, he, he puts takes it, to, it tower. to the tower. That's a lot of damage going out on Riz. Fortunately, cut and paste wasn't quite close enough. If he got that slow off, they might have been able to kill him. Yeah, I mean, it's close, but it's annoying for Riz right now. He really has to commit two or three. I think maybe two he'll get away with, Tangos. They don't look like they want to fight either. Top lane, they look to play a little bit of a silly buggers up there. I mean... Ball is going to try. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way. The there's room. no way you're getting those runes. Uh, that's that's going to be theirs. And they just trade one. two and two. Yeah, and, two and two. That's standard, though, right? Like it seems like in every Oz game, it's one aggressive, one defensive rune for each team. Pretty much. It's it's just hard because you look at that bar of slaughter lane. You're like, oh, do I really want to have to chance it and just yeah. get whacked to the end of the earth? Just a, just the the full it's level like bash crazy. from slaughter, and then you just get charged, and all of a sudden, yeah. And he's gone it. Yeah. See, so somebody's been watching too many games and hating it because yeah. this is the, this is the build I like to see the level one bash don't have to worry about charge just play the lane and be an absolute Man, nuisance look at that like oh, they're gonna get them back into tower it's, it's on creeps though unfortunate timing I mean they're gonna get a couple of hits they get the bash though. they're just gonna fight like Roger's like okay I will just punch you yeah I think Lon's gonna lose that fight every time but Roger not just taking so many tower hits yeah, you can't, for no reason you can't be getting hit by this tower so much and I mean, mid lane, how do you feel about the Dazzle versus the Amber? Like, I'm sure Baboon's going to be okay here, right? Um, I think Baboon can... Like, you just saw there, I was about to say, he can clown him a lot with this lane where yeah. he just randomly gets a nice combo down and EJ can't stop it. But on the other side, you can't get rid of Flame Guard. You're looking at the physical damage. You're looking at physical damage. You can't do anything. Yeah, I mean, if he wants to go that max Flame Guard and Roger, again, he keeps getting pulled into this tower. He's going to have to TP away. Lon's not going to be able to stop him, so he will get out of this one to start with, but... That's a disaster. A if, if you're a Barra right now, getting the pushed out of lane before you're level 2, and he's gone the win lane. What is what is Omni Knight doing top? We take a look at him. Okay, he's TP out. out. I think he was just pulling the creeps over here. Yeah, yeah, so he's just pulled the creeps over. He's made a double stack for himself, but heads up play from Barla there. He yeah. gets the, the pull anyway. It's not going to save your lane, but it's definitely going to give you a bit more XP and a bit more counter push because you can get rid of that range creep. Uh, the melee creep. creep, sorry. Rid of that range creep. Look, already. already I know. corrected myself before you did. We're good to go. Yeah, all right, all right. But, I mean, mid lane, it's it's pretty much a wash on last hits. XP looks relatively the same too, so no one's really doing anything too crazy there. Bottom lane too, you feel like that's going to be like your high violence, but they're also tanky. Well, that's the thing. This shouldn't be going as well as it is for Cut and Pace. Like, he shouldn't be able to get all these last hits, but Lon is Lon doing a fantastic doing this. job. Like, he's just... I haven't seen him play this position five effectively, Ever? Magnus. I don't. I don't know when the last time I even saw Lon on the support was. I mean, he's been playing offline for so long. He has switched around before sometimes. Pos four, pos three, but this is a new look flashpoint, and it seems like they had a strat going. Lon is the most comfortable Magnus player, so yeah. I have a feeling near the end of that draft they said. I don't really want to pick a pos five here. I really want this Omni Knight. I really want this PA. Yeah. And that's going to be how we win the game. Yeah, just and put him on the hero he's comfortable with. Like, it's a position five. He can play it. Yeah. He just he's won't be just going to max this. He's yeah. just... He just won't be able to rely on, um, like, the blink daggers that he would normally have. I, see. I think relying on a blink dagger with these initiation heroes is a bait in itself. You never want to have to have that point where you're like, I lose the game unless I get this item. Unless I get this initiation. Ball's going to get X'd up here. I mean, I don't think... Yeah, he's, he's fine. Yeah. 
So it is, it is um, the Kunkka farming this lane as well. So Farnsey's going to be farming. Yeah, they've just they've rotated a lot of different play styles and different players. And let's hope it works for them. But so far, it's looking pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, the game's pretty tight. Like, uh, you've got the PA farming really well, though, over the Spectre. So that's a big win for you as well. And the Dazzle's getting quite ahead of the Ember. But you do see the gank coming in from Roger. Can EJ get the hold off here? He's got the Flame Guard. Here comes the high skill bat, play. And they yeah. will get the first blood. EJ going to be very happy with that one. Mmm, 17. I mean, look, uh, sometimes it just works out for you, you know? Always. It always works. It actually, I swear, it's one of those inbuilt mechanics that just enables people that play dumb to get away with it. Because I swear the dumber you charge in, the more bashes you get. It's yeah, just one of those inbuilt mechanics. Look, I mean, sometimes you you just get the get the wins. And the luck of the Irish. Up, <laughs> Ember just picks up a regen room, too. Yeah, Doesn't every care. everything's going right for that mid lane. Like we've cast his curse, though. You said the Dazzle was going well. He's still winning the last hit battle, but, yeah, but that death's really going to start to add on him. Yeah, exactly. Like, he'll be a little bit behind in the, in the experience now, potentially. And, I mean, he's just going to keep using this Poison Touch to keep EJ away. Like, uh, the Flame Guard's not going to protect him from it, as you said earlier. Obviously, they can't take off the Flame Guard, but you're going to have a lot more damage to output onto EJ. Yeah, I mean, right now, with level 2 Flame Guard, it's actually still not as much damage. You're looking... Yeah... It's nice good. magic absorb, 40 damage a second, but Dazzle's going to start to really add up. He's is, he's is 40 as well, but it's the slow, it's the duration that lasts forever, and yeah. you can just keep fighting. Oh, X up onto one. Ball are not going to be able to do anything in that, and they will get both the drones Dazzle. top, but they will look to lose both of the bottom. So, two for yeah. two again. Yeah, nothing real fancy happening. Although, I like this. Okay, a lot of Pulse Streets have been doing this now. He hasn't put it in his backpack. Mind you, he's getting the boots coming in. But the early chainmail against a core that all is magic physical damage, like PA's damage entire kit is physical. You get that early chainmail, you put it in your infantry, and we're seeing mid. He's yeah. diving a bit too far. Yeah, I mean, look, that's the that's the thing when you're a spirit breaker, though, right? Sometimes you just go in. You should know. Sometimes you just go hard. What do you mean sometimes? What's all this the sometimes? All the time you go hard. I mean, he's been caught under tower how many times this game? I think that was his fourth, yeah. technically. But yeah, three charges under tower, and he only died once, and that was over committing mid lane. And you can see Corrosive was prepped and ready for it. Like, he didn't even have to use much. He was already in the lane. He just TP'd a bit early to that fight. They're going to be stacking those Ancients as well. And bottom one. Oh, cut pace. Pace is alone. He's going to get the sun off as well. Another With 17%? The oh. Cut and pace? Ah, oh, he's definitely dead, but I mean, it was nicely played. Yeah. I mean, I think you count your blessings there if you're Zen 9. If there was any rotation support, you don't get that kill because Clay played that so well. Cut and paste, really making them work for that kill. And he's still doing okay on the last hits. Like, they have kind of just left him at this point, though. They're kind of ditching their boy. And yeah, when I you think ditch that's Clay, that's when he starts struggling. Um, I was about to say, it's so start to stack. You can see they're starting to get the, the camps up. He's actually only got the one. Yeah, Magnus now could be in a bit of trouble long, going to get charged up. Roger Dodge is going to be there as well. EJ with the follow-up zipping in. He's very tanky, though. He is going to get to the Shrine as well. He's going to click it. Dazzle moving in here. They need to be careful of this one. Uh, Baboon's just kind of walking into the Shrine. He's going to get that heal off there. EJ's still very healthy, though. and They're not going to get anything out of this one. EJ going to have to back out here. It's a lot of damage he's taking. He's still, yeah. he's still ticking down, but he's got that salve. He's got the wand. He's got more bottle charges. He'll be fine. He's fine. Yeah. A big rotation for both. But he's, ooh, early Necro book. Don't mind that at all. I mean, they're going to go for this early timing, right? They've got an Omni Knight to help you push. They've got the Dazzle Heal, Necro books as well. Like, it's going to be a good time. Riz, bottom lane, going to be going on to CMP again. The charge is going to come through. But here comes the TPs. Cut and going to get out of this one. The TP cancelled. They're just going to back it. And uh, CMP saved. Now level 6, so actually does some resemblance of damage. Not Even then, Riz is still just putting it to him in this lane. He's gone for a Midas build Ooh. on the Slada. I mean, what does he? What does the Slada really need? You get an early blink, but oh. you just run in. Bottom lane, they're going to get the charge through. Spectre going to be using that ulti as well. Cut and paste, going to get stunned up. He's going to blink away when he can, but he's not going to get out of this one. Farnsy going to be coming in. Look at the damage on Delon. Gets absolutely melted. Now Kunker, he's all on his own here. The boat's going to be coming through. More TPs. Nice stun coming out onto two. But he will go down for this one. Dazzle finally going to be getting in. He's just going to try and take him, but they will take down one. Now Riz in a lot of trouble. Baboon going to be cleaning this one up. Will get himself a double kill, but a lot of rotations coming in, and 
you see the power of that one hit onto Lon too from that slaughter. Yeah. That hurt. Overall, it's a lot of solo XP. The gold's pretty much a wash, but you've committed a lot. You committed the Spectre ultimate there. On the plus side, though, Shatan's getting levels up here. He's going to buy that time soon. And if he gets that six early, which it's looking pretty good, he probably will get around the 10-minute mark. And you can't ask for much more if you're a Warlock. Yeah, and especially when the other team looks to be playing a strategy where they group up quite early with the Necro books, having that Warlock ult just to straight up want to fight and Kuro, yeah. He's, yeah. he's so, not getting out of this one. So Kuro's back to playing five? Yep. Like, I'm not I'm not sure exactly how they're playing this, uh, even now. And I'm ten minutes into the game. Yeah. It, it seems like he's not. He's like an offlane five rather than a, than a four. Lon will be getting the farm priority. Oh, oh Fancy Doesn't get that X uh, off, unfortunately. Really close. But, I mean, the end of the day, it's... Uh, if he wouldn't have killed him, it just would have been really annoying for EJ. I don't know. He was trying to TP for the bottle, I think, because he had the remnant that was still in here for six seconds. So he might have been able to just cop whatever damage Farnsworth put on him and still just go on mid anyway. Yeah. It wouldn't have been the end of the world for him, but doesn't get it off. And, I mean, PA's going to start... Like, starting to get farmed. They're going to have the splash damage coming out from that Magnus. There's a few stacks up. Uh, there was an ancient stack being done. There's a couple in yeah, there as well. Yeah, it's just the two stack, though, which is going to be quite hard to take. There's no one on Flashpoint that can take it quickly, except for this PA, obviously, using Blur. But that's still going to take a while. You see that health regen really adds up. Like, no one seems to register. 10 health regen is a lot. Oh, yeah, it is a lot. And it stacks, obviously. I mean, he will get it eventually, so it's not going to be the end of the day. Top lane, though, you're going to see Ember going up to the Kunker. Ember's just looking for runes. He's yeah. good rune hunting. Uh, not really doing much with it, though. Yeah, they... I mean, they're uh, positioning so aggressive. Baller going to be the target of their hate here. Farnsworth going to get a bit of damage off. But oh, here comes the you, charge. Grosive's just dead here. EJ now going to be rotating in. The boat's going to be coming forwards. We'll go through him. Keep him alive for a bit longer. But, I mean, there's so many heroes around him. There's no TPs coming out either. Farnsey just looks to be going down. He's surviving a lot longer than I would have anticipated with yeah. that boat buff. But they still get themselves two kills for that rotation. Boat buff, double racer. But even then, you didn't commit anything coming out of Zen 9. Like, they just got two free kills, really. They were just given those. They were absolute freebies. And you, you really don't want to be having to fight when Haunt's off cooldown. But you saw they were okay with it. Yeah, it didn't really matter too much, and Riz bottom lane is just putting so much aggression into here. They will get the rotation in from the Dazzle, but I mean, he's a slider. But you know who's coming in? It's uh, your boy! It's your boy, Spirit Breaker. And I mean, is he going to... He's just... No, okay. No, he, he doesn't commit. He's gone straight phase boots, no braces. I don't like this at all. I need the braces in my life. But at least he's going phase boots, and he's gone the right build. I like this a lot, the one two two. Two levels in Bash is actually all you need when you're getting that charge off. It means that you can get one extra auto attack off and then you can ultimate on top of that. And that extra bit of damage adds up, especially when Riz is going to be putting on that corrosive haze on people. Yeah, and Riz, as we see, has the Midas, has oh. the face, which, oh, that hurt. God, he hit so hard. This is the this is the problem playing against a Dazzle. Uh, he has Empower. So, <laughs> yeah. He gets that extra 75 damage. He gets the Empower. He's hitting for 200 base when he has that Empower on him. Yeah. And then you get that, that big heal, Nick. You give them the minus armor as well from your ult. Like, that's another thing. No one no one really pays attention to that. That's a lot of armor reduction. A lot. Yeah. That's per spell. Two armor reduction. Yeah. And the Necro Book counts as a spell as well. So even if you just get that off, get the poison off, that's minus four armor straight away. Yeah, it's just the little things. And he's almost got a level three. And once you get that level three, the map's yours. You can just walk around with them at 100% uptime find every single ward on the map and just start to snipe them out. And you see that these kind of things wouldn't happen. Baboon's just going to get picked off, I think, by yeah, himself here. I mean, he's going to get charged in here now. The ulti's going to come out from Roger. They will be TPing in, though. He's tanky. He's still tanky. He's got the grave, too. He gets it off. Shatan does get the Warlock ulti going, though. Krosif's going to be in here. He's ticking down. This Fatal Bonds is going to hurt a lot. Spectre's going to be ultiing as well. And that's going to be two going down for Flashpoint. Farnsworth's going to be the next... Uh, one to be taken. They're all so low, Roger, but he just yes, can't get, get anything there, done. The charge will come through from Roger as you hype up about, but Z9, they're all so low, but they just, they're like, a PA and Magnus are top. They weren't there. Magnus just TP'd up there too to help the PA farm. And yeah, I mean, this is what we talked about. Like, Z9 are getting better as a team every single time we see them. They're yeah. practicing as a team. 
They're talking outside of game as a team. Everything to make sure that their team works on point. And you saw how much faith they had. Everyone's walking right away with barely any health. I, Shatan did heal himself, the, the greedy bugger. But the rest of them were low, almost dying. And they just had the faith. They just knew they Top didn't blame? have enough. Do they want to go on the Spectre? They're thinking about it, man. They are thinking about That's it. That's a hard kill. He's got three levels of dispersion. He doesn't have any support, really, though. The charge is going to be coming in. Here comes the ulti from Cut... Uh, sorry, from Kuro, uh, Lon. I, I yeah. wanted to call There's it There's too Kuro. many heroes. There's too many. But they're all TPing out now. The charge is going to be coming. Spirit Break is going to get there eventually. If they can just hold Lon here for a little bit longer, Amber's going to be using that slide. EJ wants to go for this one, but they will cancel the charge. Fanzi coming in. We'll get the X off onto EJ. Can he make sure he gets the timing right? That's a heads-up play. Yeah. So you see Farnsworth, he doesn't actually put the torrent on the ground until he sees the slider fist go off. He just misses, but I like the enthusiasm. I like the, the heads-up play from Farnsy to try and go for that. Yeah, oh, I mean, and a free D-Ward. Uh, Farnsy, free, free money? Farnsy, free money. Calling blade. It's it. free real estate. <laughs> Here we go. He was waiting for it to tick the time up, so it was worth more. I don't think anyone <laughs> in the history of Dota has ever thought of that. You can click it. So you can see, like, oh, I've got three minutes to D-Ward it. But do you want to wait? Yeah, they will be going forward, though. The charge is going to be there onto the Kunker. He will get the torrent off, though. It does land on EJ as well. They could be turning this one around. Baboon's going to be there with the poison coming out. The heals are going to be there as well. Corrosive's still pretty healthy. The boat's going to be coming in. But, I mean, it's only really the debuff. EJ here is going to get healed up by Shatan. Shatan laying down the slow as well. Cut and paste wants to go in. EJ's getting absolutely chunked. That negative armor is yeah. really starting to add up. And he's getting he's yeah, just he's dead. dead. Now, uh, Spectre going to be in a lot of trouble. Ball are getting chunked down too. They have to respect the physical damage from this team. And they will take down one more. And that's both the calls going down. This is a big problem. They they turned that one around very handedly. Yeah, I mean, that was the first time Cut and Pace actually has been in the fight too. We talked about having a fight early. Having that fight in the 10 to 20 minute mark. Yeah. It was 15 on the dot and he comes in. Yeah, and he's almost got that Desolator as well. So his damage is going to go through the roof. You've got the minus armor from Baboon. And look at this. This is like the kind of stuff you see when you are all in on one carry. 1-3-1 one, one build. He knows he doesn't need to farm himself. He's just basically trying to sap levels here. I think he dies for it, though. Yeah, he is all I mean, alone, and there is nothing to TP to. Uh, the tier one's down. EJ will be committing forwards as well. The rest of the team from Zen 9 does look to be rotating here too. Slardar coming down. So maybe they turn this into a push. Oh, and we were talking about it? 25 and 15. Oh, okay, 25 and 15. So I was correct in the uh, the right talents. I just wasn't correct in how much they gave. Ah, uh, look, mate, we don't have to always be right. Well, I mean, you do, because that's kind of your job. Yeah, I have one job, and I still didn't do it. <sighs> classic oh. classic Wogglet. DD going to be here, though. Cut and is going to be uh, pretty happy with that one. It's a shame. If he had that Desolator, I think they just go straight into Roche. Yeah, even if he just had Lifesteal, I think they go straight into Roche. Because you've got well, the minus armor You don't need the Lifesteal with that, with that blur and uh, obviously Corrosive healing him up. True. I think they could have got away with it. Obviously, Lon being dead makes it a bit harder. Yep. Not having that Desolator, that is a lot of damage lost. For sure. And they will get that Deso now up onto the PA coming out. They also have the Necro Book Level 3 and the Mana Boots up on Baboon. And yep. he'll be going for the Greaves next. So, I mean, he's just going to be there to push his team forward. But you've also got to respect that he also does a crap load of damage. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're hitting for 200. You're getting Cleave on your hero, which I know it doesn't actually give you the cleave, but in power's extra damage, his, his base damage is quite high. 115 is solid. Yeah, plus that 75, obviously, that you're getting from that talent, too. I mean, they will try and push this top line. The cooldown reduction as well, also. We haven't really talked about the ult with the cooldown of the Necro, but it's it's uptime 100%, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah. mean... That's 100% Necro book time. Yep. How fun. I mean, I did, we did mention it. Is it more he, than 100%? Uh, yeah, but it respawns. Yeah, it respawns. So it resummons them. It's yeah. 50, 55.8, 60 second last time. So there's a five oh. second window where you can you can clown around a bit. You can try and make them try to commit on the hero, uh, the creeps, and then just respawn them. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's fine, right? Um, the big thing is though, like you can see, we talked about the vision. Look how black the map is. Yeah, they can't see anything. I mean, neither of these teams can see. They a lot. can't see. They're going to the Roche now. Yeah. I mean, they will be going for this one. They've got the Necro Books. They've got a PA. They do a decent chunk of damage to this, so they take it out pretty fast, but Zen yeah. 9 are not going to wait for them to kill this. They are going to be moving themselves in. Rez is going to be there with the big took a lot of damage. He took so much. The Warlock ult is going to be there with the uh, Fatal Bond Spectre. Now going to be using that ult as well. Lon taking a bit of damage here. Cut and paste, though, just on the back. He's just fighting. Now the RP comes out onto two. Cut and paste. Will EJ be going in. EJ. Oh, he 
doesn't get out. Doesn't get over the hill, but he will manage to put one up there. Cut and paste. Going to be in a lot of trouble here. Will be going down. Nice splash damage from the Conker, though. Will be able to take down Ember. He's going to buy back. They want to get the Everyone throat. wants Everyone's to be a part of this fight again. In. Dazzle just gets chunked out of here, though. EJ now going to be going forwards. Chris is going to be the next target of contention. Cut and paste just bought back. He looks to be going down again, but they will all get around him. They want to keep him alive. Riz now going to be chunked out by these crits. 700 already at this stage of the game. They're going to use the Shrine 2 on the back end just to try and reset a little Riz taking too much damage. Will go down EJ now. Trying to get out of this EJ, one. He no remnants. Off. He bought back into this as well. He's going to just be running around. I think Roger has to die for him here. He has to charge yeah. in. He has to commit. He's going to get the... Oh, no. Nah, he, EJ, heads up play there coming with a slider fist. Yeah. Chains. I mean, everybody basically buying back into this one. Chitan. I mean, he doesn't want to let them get this Roche. But, I mean, they're all going to be coming back into this one. Dazzle's going to be alive in five. They will have the Necro books up again too. And they will move themselves in. They're missing Riz, which is their big initiation into this fight with that Blink stun. Also, he Blink stunned and lost half of his health straight away. He blinked straight into the a Shadow Wave. Yeah. It, and it that's just unlucky. Like was, you couldn't pre no. predict that. It was a bit rough, but they will take him down. This Amber Illusion gonna get uh, gonna 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 get killed. Yeah, I mean they, they committed a few spells, but like we said, Flashpoint Gaming, their low cooldowns, a lot of low cooldown spells. Yeah, they they don't rely on high cooldowns. Their only on, high reliance it's, it's is long. reverse polarity, and that's I still can't tell. Is it a pause five? Is it a pause four? It's uh, just I don't know, man. But the boat's going to be there now. Onto the spectre. Cut and paste. Going to be blinking in. That's going to be an easy kill onto Baller. Yeah. And also, PA is not even going for the BKB next. Going for the Bash. I think it's fine. You've got Corrosive to save you. Like this. Yeah. This is basically a BKB right now. The status of this is huge. The extra strength is massive. If you can get that basher and start steamrolling team fights while you've got the ages, you've got two lives. They're going straight for high ground. They yeah. don't care. I mean, they've got. They RP. might as well. They've got 30 seconds on rock, and I'm sure Corrosive has timed that. He's a fantastic captain for numbers, and he will have everything written down next to him saying, This is when that spell's up. This is when Roche is up. Yep. This is when we can push. And they've got Necro books as well that are up all the time. This could be a Rax at 21 minutes. Yeah. I mean, without the Warlock ulti, they will struggle. Baboon here as well. Just keep They need to the cleave. Healthy. They need to give him the cleave. And yeah, here we go. And they're just going to take the melee Rax. I don't know how they play this. Riz is behind them, though. So maybe they're going to try and go for the cutoff play and get some on their way out. It's too late. It's, I think it's already gone. Yeah, Golem mean, in one second. Golem's up now, so they can try to look for a fight with Roger Dodger jumping in. Oh, Riz gets the double stun now. Roger with the push forward. They will get the boat off, though. The Warlock ult, he's going to be there. Boat only hitting on just the Golem, really. I think it came past to a couple of heroes, though. Oh, can they do anything long, though, with the RP? He's trying to save himself. Cut and paste, though. Just comes in with the splash damage. Now with the Guardians. Bala's dead as well. Bala's just gone. There's three dead again. This is Are they going to go for game? I think they're going to go for the game. They're pinging it. it. All of a sudden, it was so close. And now, out of nowhere, Flash One Gaming could be sneaking a win at 21 minutes in. Oh, I mean, Zen 9 looks really good this game, too. But they've got... They, they hit this push timing, right? They've got that Dazzle up. With the low cooldowns, they've got that Necro book always. And Cut and Paste just came in. They got the RP, they got the He's splash got three damage. Grand as They're well. going on to EJ. He's got to get out of here, which he does. They're trying to delay it, but <laughs> is it just <laughs> over? Are they, is it, they, they they've just got no spells. They've got no Bala ultimate. He can't come in with the Haunt. Yeah, they've got no Gold. That's called. it. They've called it. I They're mean, out. <laughs> what a game from Flashpoint Gaming. They, this what is happened? what I like to see, though. It's a team that knows their timings. Yeah. They see, oh yeah, you know what? We want to fight in Roche Pit. Everyone buy back. Commit. We need this A just right now. Yeah. We need this tier two. They won that team fight and they just said, you know what? They've got no spells left. Let's go, boys. Let's keep pushing. Right. 22 minutes in, done. They, they just went and got it done. But I mean, I think the big thing was that when you brought up the fact that Corrosive knew when that Warlock ult was coming up, there was like three he seconds left on the corner. Just three seconds off. back. It was perfect. That's what you need to have as a captain. You need a shot caller that says, you know what? I play Warlock a lot. I exactly know when this is going to come up. I wrote down to the number. <laughs> He's like, got it written down. He probably right. has it to the millisecond knowing Corrosive. <laughs> probably indeed, but that will be Flashpoint one game up. Can What does Zen9 do now? Do they look at that and go, we just missed our timings. They, I, they played it better. I honestly think if you're Zen9, you look at that Roche fight and the fact that EJ ended up at the tier 3s before the Roshan went down, yeah. I think that's just a bit too far. And that way they couldn't regroup. You lost Riz on a die back there and... Once you lose that Roshan, you really can't commit that Tier 2 fight. And once that Tier 2 fight happened, they didn't win that, that was game over. For sure, but that will be it for us for game number one. Come back very shortly for game number two versus Flashpoint Gaming versus Zen9.
Remember where it started. Your first experiences. Remember where you came from. The journey you traveled. The journey you love. Remember where it started. And imagine where it will go. Rise on. Let's make it Jack. Drink it through with Dare Ice Coffee.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the ESL AUNZ Champs for Dota 2. We're done with game number one of this best of three. Flashpoint Gaming, man, they brought that timing in as you yeah. said. I mean, there is times where you say, yeah, a team has timings, they want to abuse them. But I don't think I've ever seen a window of perfection when it comes to timing like that. 18 minutes, there was a lead on Zen 9. 21 minutes, they don't have an ancient of defense. <laughs> the game's over. The game's There's over. a three and a half minute window there where I think you're going to have to say Flashpoint Gaming played perfect Dota. Their buybacks were perfect. Their fight was perfect. They went on the high ground perfectly. They took the Raxes. Fantastic. They didn't dive into the fountain and they won the game off of it. I mean, that's something that you see a lot, right? Is that they overplay yeah. their leads and they, they went for the Racks. They backed off as soon as they knew Warlock Ulti was up. It was... It was pitcher perfect, and they, the thing is, it's the spirit breaker mentality. I got to commit to this charge, I man. Go in. Roger Dodger went in. I don't know if it was a bait. I think his team wanted him to go. They dropped the golem. They even hit three or four people with those bonds, but they didn't kill anyone. And then all of a sudden, too little, too late. You've used your ultimates. You've cooked it, and you've run out of gas, and they pushed through your head. I mean, that's. It. I think. I don't think Zen Nine are going to be too, too upset by the fact that they lost because they played well. They just missed their timing. But that, oh, 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 the first band, Dazzle. The second like the, band, Omni Knight. The biggest respect band I've ever seen. I think the second band should be Omni Knight right yeah, here. Take Those two heroes just straight up did so much work. I checked after the game. I had CNC check for me. The healing done was 9,000 coming out of Dazzle. Oh, what it's was a 20-minute game. <laughs> what was it out of the Omni? Uh, Omni only did like two-ish. It's not much. But Omni's thing isn't really the heal anymore, right? That's not why you... You commit entire... Because the actual health regen that you get from the W, the Heavenly Grace, that doesn't actually count as health gained. Oh, because it's regen, on, right? Yeah, because it's, it's giving them quote-unquote regen, which is the same as Oracle, weirdly enough. Oracle's ultimate doesn't count as healing on the, like, the end game stats. It's the most bugged thing. That is weird. Does lifesteal count as healing, though? It does. Because it doesn't... It's not regen. True, yeah. It's all over the place. Dota 2, what a game. But we're going to see the Conquer Band. Are they just straight up going to ban out like what they I'd played like last game? Like, so Zen Knight, in their head, they're the better team, right? Yeah. They oh, think yeah. on paper, every single position, maybe maybe cut and paste as Bala, I'd say, goes to cut and paste right now. At the moment, yeah. Um, but every other position, they should say, oh, we're probably, we're probably a slight edge. We're yeah. probably better. And they just ran over us. They got all the heroes they wanted. We didn't know how to play against it. Why don't we just not play against it and just ban them all? And there, they there's did. the Omni Knight. They, they just, just banned three of their draft. Obviously, the PA didn't win in the game due to the pick. Just the play style was very good. But any core could have done that. Any type of carrier, Juggernaut probably would have been better for them because of the healing ward. So, I think the only thing that the PA brought that another carrier wouldn't have is that blink strike. Because yeah. getting on top of the Magnus RP instantly is always going to help. And okay, we're gonna see Zen Nine play play it back. Yeah. They think it like that Ember Spirit wasn't the problem, and instant death profit pick. Uh, th this is an instant. Oh, two for and DP yes, Oracle. it's an Oracle. I love this. They are never killing that death profit in that ultimate. If he gets any spirit siphons off, he gets that agony scepter. That's gonna be absolutely heinous to deal with. So Flashpoint going for the same timing draft. They're going for a push timing. Yeah, so I, I like this. They're going to go for an 18 to 25 minute push, which we've seen before that the way to beat Zen 9, make them uncomfortable for 30 minutes. If you hit the 30 minute mark, they're probably going to find ways to outfarm you more often than not. But that early game for them is so rough. They play the lanes well. Their mid game is always a bit haphazard because they pick cores that like to farm and they fight with them anyway because Bala just wants to fight. And Flashpoint Gaming, if they win another one in 25 minutes, they're really going to put their stamp on how to beat Zen 9. Yeah, I think if you if they if they win this 2-0, you look back at these games and go, how do we beat Zen 9? And you just watch how Flashpoint Death Gaming Ball. played. Death Ball. This is, so when Athletico first came into the scene as well, and everyone was talking about, can Zen 9 get beaten by these upstart kids, basically? That was how they played. They played just Death Ball Dota. Yeah. And they're starting to realize they're going to give Roger Dodger his winter even... Well, at least I hope so, because the last time Shatan played it, it was a bit Yeah, bit iffy. I remember um, that one. It wasn't great. But uh, Wyvern's also one of those heroes that's really good against those Death Ball push lineups, right? Because you catch a good ulti. But not against Death Prophet. That's the thing. So Death Prophet doesn't auto attack. That's the big issue with that. So do you ulti the Death Prophet and hope that someone else is whacking him? Do you ulti someone else, but the Death Prophet siphons are still going to just hit everything? 
And also, also Oracle can just disarm if it's like one person hitting, like I'll carry hitting a support and it's not off. Oracle. Just turn them off. Fate's yeah. edict. Just be like, hello, see you, dear. <laughs> Bye. Have some fun. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a good pick overall, but there is a lot of abusable things that Flashpoint can do to make sure this Winter Wyvern doesn't have a game. Yeah, for sure. And we're going to see the Juggernaut taken out again by Zen 9, so they're, basically, they're, they're just saying, Clay, you can't. I think the next out. three bands are all going to be cut and paste bands. Yeah. They did this last time. They banned three normal heroes. And then they banned, what was it, the Slark, the Jug, and the Troll Warlord. I wouldn't be surprised if we see basically the same three bands, if not maybe a rotate PA for Troll Warlord. Yeah, I mean, he played the lane really well at the start, too, on the PA. Like, he got a lot more CS. I think that was Lon. The right? early in power. I think that was and Lon. And Lon, Lon yeah. did so much work with that charge. We ne I've never seen a charge do that much work, put so many people under tower with Skewer. It just yeah. doesn't make sense to me how you get caught under tower four times. I mean, that's the thing, right? You you want to play aggressively with that Spirit Breaker. Oh, and the AA man. Oh, they know what they're going to do. It's a death ball. It's a death ball. That's it. They're, they're just going to ban against what they don't want to play against. Now, it's not banning Zen 9. They yeah. banned the Razor. I, that's the thing, right? Uh, Razor's not banned like against anyone but Baller, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, you banned it for Baller or Bala. I still don't know which his name is. Ah, a bit of both. Um, Pango is a Riz specialty. We know yeah. that. Omni Knight is also his specialty, but they had to ban it. They couldn't just let Corrosive have it first pick. I'd like to just see them run it back, pick a Magnus at the three on Flashpoint, a play at Lon, pause four, five, have no real support, which is basically what Flashpoint was doing, and then just pick another core, run it back, play the same style, and just abuse them, push their head in. See what happens. You've got the one game up, so you're going to have to make sure Zen 9 are uncomfortable this game, and... If you lose it, then you go back to basics. Then you go back to a proper strat instead of just trying to death ball them twice in a row. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I, I think Flashpoint are quite comfortable just doing what they did again. And if it doesn't work, change it. But don't fix what's not what what isn't broken. Yeah, I mean that that was a close game for all intents and for, purposes. For twenty minutes it was, yeah. And then that last one minute yeah, was for nineteen like, and a half minutes. That <laughs> game was even. Yeah. Actually, for 19 minutes, Zen 9 were winning. Zen 9 were winning <laughs> two minutes before they lost. I would have, I should have pulled out the win predictability. I can lose like 60%, dropping down to like 62, 65, Zen 9 way. Zero. And then <laughs> zero. Yeah. Yeah, it was, Um, I mean, that's the thing. Zen 9 tried to defend their base after their Rax was gone. They were like, okay, Riz is behind. He can get the jump, get the stun. The Warlock ulti sound came off and it didn't go off. And then it went off. Yeah. So I think there was a slight positioning that maybe he didn't... A bit of delay, yeah. yeah. Maybe he didn't get it exactly where he wanted it, or maybe he got stunned. I didn't see it. Oh. Th so it's I another it's another baboon mid. Visage, he's going to get the Necro books again. Going to just go. Death Prophet safe land, dude. It's, it's fine. Oh, I don't know. if you, I think the Solar Crest might be better. Yeah. Um, the, the thing is, where are you going to put this Death Prophet? You can't ask Cut and Paste to pick either of those heroes. No. Well, you can play the Visage in the off yeah. as well. So he played on that uh, like aggressive stance. I think Farnsworth plays a very good Visage, and he was the farming conqueror in the end. True. So I think that's a pulse three Visage. They're still going to keep the Death Prophet mid purely because Cut and Pace can't play either of those heroes. And that's going to show on their draft. Yeah, true, actually. Yeah, uh, thinking about CMP playing a Death Prophet just, just feels bad. Dude, it gives you nightmares thinking about Visage as well. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't worry. He wouldn't get his ult. Yeah, I mean, he might not. It's just, if he plays his eyes, just all in on soul assumption. Yeah, that's it. Just all in. Oh, the other one, Grave Shield, the Grave attack shield. speeds. Yeah. Um, but if you're Zen 9, you're looking at that, you're like, okay, I know they're going to commit to a death ball. I need a defensive pause three. I need something that can really set up a fight. I think they the need Sand something King's like still the in the pool. Sand the Centaur's King, still Centaur, in the pool. Yeah. Like two, both of those heroes are very good defensively. They're very good aggressively too. Like Centaur can get you out or into a fight. Yeah. I wouldn't mind a Venomancer as well, something like that. But there, there is the Sand King... It's a nice combo with Winter Wyvern. You can really set up fights quite comfortably there. Yep. Um, let's hope it's enough to delay the game. Sandstorm's quite good for that. But it doesn't really do much against Visage Familiars. By that no. I mean it does absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. I think it hits for like 7 or 8 damage Ooh, at max level. Wow, that's so much damage. Yeah, I mean, just tick them down. Just, good just, to go. just hope they just hands off keyboard and leave the, uh, leave the Familiars in there. Ooh, Mars is going to be picked up. This is a massive team fight lineup. Like, you, you get locked in Mars ulti, and then you get the DP ult running off. What do you do? You can't get out of that. You're just a, just having a real bad time. Yeah, this is this is going to be a very rough game for Zen 9. If they allow Flashpoint to get the first five minutes of, like, actual getting levels. All of these heroes need level 3, level 4. Ten seconds remaining. 
Oracle and Visage kind of aren't heroes till they get six. Like, they, they do a lot of damage with their combo. Like, obviously, with Oracle getting the EQ combo, the Purifying Flames um, does a lot of damage. Yeah. But Visage is just pathetic pre-six. I mean, Visage is one of those heroes that you kind of use very, very aggressively in that offline if you get it in a combo. I don't know if it, it'll be the Oracle Visage. I think they might pick something else with it. But also... I want to uh, see Oracle... Is it Visage Mars? I, I want to see Oracle bot lane with a carry for cut and paste. Obviously, we talked about the Jugger being banned. Troll's still in the pool. Ursa's could, still or, in the pool. CMP could play Mars. Uh, it's not... His style, and I think it's better as a pause four right now than a carry because right now you need a carry that can get the farm and use it well, which is why I think Ursa because Ursa only really needs one life still item, whether it's the Vlad's or just the Morbid, and then a, blink. a blink, and then you can run in with the drums. And Zen Nine are saying, just fight fire with fire. We're going to team fight you if you team fight us. It's a lot of high cooldowns. Yeah, and we've we've seen that we've seen that really bite teams in the ass. Like, well, we just saw Zen Nine get absolutely bitten. Apart. Part. As soon as that Warlock and the Haunt went down... They didn't do anything. They couldn't do anything, and they just lost the game. So, is this the same thing going to happen with Zen 9? If they don't get a picture-perfect Sand King epicenter, they don't get a picture-perfect Wind Wyvern combo into Black Hole, do they just lose out at 20 to 25 minutes because Death Prophet's ulti lasts for so long? Mars can push so much. If they have two sets of familiars, are they going to be able to take them both out? Probably not, man. Yeah, it's, it's a <laughs> lot. I think Flashpoint know exactly what they have to do. They're going to have to round out their draft like with a final carry. Yep. They could play Mars carry, but I don't think it's viable. I don't think it's great. Um, Zen 9, on the other hand, if they can make it to the late game, I think they're going to win because their team fight ulties are so huge and fights end up happening at that two minute, two and a half minute per fight mark. So they should just round out their draft with a nice stable carry. I mean, it's going to be a Roger Wyvern, a Shatan Sand King, a Riz Enigma. Yeah, I think it might be a Riz Sand King, to be honest. But, but Shatan, that's, that's something Shatan is like, so well known Shatan has played Sand King. That's yeah. the thing. He doesn't care. And he used to play it offline. Like, Shatan's played that hero as, like in the, all the roles he's played other than when he was like a mid, like, six years ago. Yeah, mid the Shrak, stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Um, Yuck. I, I think you're right, actually. I think Sanking might be pause five. Roger Dodger should definitely be playing this Winter Wyvern. Yeah. The last I I, uh, Wyvern as a four, though? You'd, yeah. you'd have the Sanking as the four. Are you just uh, well, their the last a time, bit. the last time they did it, Sanking was the pause five Shatan, and they kind of just split the Split the farm wards. a little more. Yeah. The wards, yeah. Because farm-wise, Sanking's always going to get more. He can just play the lane so much safer. Um, it comes down to what their carry wants to be, though, and they've left a lot through the pool. Terrible being banned out as well, but Zen9 going to quickly pick CK. up the Okay, I don't CK. mind that. That's a, that's a baller hero as well. That's a hero he's played a lot. He's done very well on it. Um, I mean, they're all in on... All their cooldowns are insane. They're quite tanky too. Yeah. But the, look at their cooldowns. Like every like Chaos Knight's ult, super long. Enigma, Sand King, um, Wyvern, pretty long. With the CK Sand King, though, they can get pick-offs mm -hmm. without their ultimates. Like, double, that's a lot of stun combo. A lot of damage, um, yeah. But it's just this is going to be a real hard game for Zen. I think Flashpoint, if they pick any stable core, Ursa, Troll, even a PA again would be completely fine because you've got the Oracle. Yeah. Um, any one of those, and their roster is just a bit more stable, a bit easier to execute, a bit faster. And we saw what happens with a faster draft coming out of Flashpoint. Oh, yeah, but they will be picking up the last year. It's ah! going to be the, be the cut and paste anti-mage. Woglet's face, if you could see it right now, is real confused. I mean, I understand the pick, but does any mage make you win in 25 minutes? And the answer is going to be no. Yeah, 35. 35. 35. So they're playing a bit later. They're hoping that Roger Dodgers, Riz, and Shatana don't all get blinks. But like we they're said... They're all going to get blinks. Like we said, we were completely wrong. Roger Dodger 4, Enigma, Riz playing the Sand King, and Shatan hey. on the questionable win to Wyvern. Yeah, that's weird, man. Like, all of those seem like the wrong hero for the player. Riz Sand King is fantastic. Yeah. The thing but is, but like, when, you, when you see an Enigma and a Sand King, you think Riz is going to be on that Enigma, not the Sand King. Because that's, that's, that's like a Riz special. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Both of those heroes are so good for him. Roger Dodger plays a fantastic Enigma, though. Quite greedy. So I think Shatan is not going to get much farm this game. Uh, Shag is going to be pretty poor. Um, EJ, what else to say? He's playing Ember Spirit. We saw what happened last game. He played very well. It just wasn't enough. He couldn't overcome the fact that they had a death ball lineup and he didn't have six items. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, you talk about the blinks as well, and 
Zen 9, they've got an Ember, so he doesn't need the blink. He can still get it, but all the other heroes are going to get blinks. I th I'm pretty yeah. sure Baller will get his as well. Um, I think so. I think I think blinks are must have item on sinking. Oh, so CK uh, yeah. Chaos Knight. It's just so good. Um, oh, I mean, as well as that, you can bring in your illusions. So you, you see one, and all of a sudden it's four, and you're like, oh, yeah, I just the, took six hundred damage. The illusion illusion grip range on the W is like fifteen hundred, and it's quite and a, it's quite decent. Yeah, it's 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 a bit longer. I don't think it even says it on it. I know it's longer than a blink. Mm. Um, I think it's around fifteen sixteen hundred range. So I you can blink, so. you can blink in, and then just like you alt blink in W, yeah. and then they all just come in, and then you look at uh, you look at Flashpoint, and it's like okay, our Oracle died instantly, well, our Visage the, died instantly. That's the thing: if Oracle can get the XP gain and then can get the cast range, he won't get picked off. They won't be able to find him. But that's level fifteen, and I think Chaos Knight can kill him before that for the whole game. I think someone spotted these wards. Looks like it's being pinged out as a ward. Yeah, so I think Flashpoint get to it first. They palm off the sentry. So Baboon's going to get some free gold. Easy game. He's going to be a happy boy. And on the other side, Farnsworth's playing the three. Lon's playing the pos four for Sarge. So we were basically wrong on all of these picks. They're a bit all over the place. Yeah. Look, I mean, people are very used to us being wrong, though. That's the thing. I, last week, I was near spot on. You can ask C and C. I was, I was on fire uh, for the picks. I mean, Lon's dead. pretty dead. dead. <laughs> yeah. It's who they give it to, and EJ, EJ wants it more than everyone else. I mean, EJ gets it. I think uh, it's between him and Baller, right? Yeah. Corrosive. Corrosive, uh, he doesn't win this this little duel, but he's, he's shown the level, so I think Corrosive can sit here and just try to 1v1 click war the uh, rune. And he gets it. He gets it. Faster hands. I mean, end of the day, uh, Zen 9 get three. Yeah. Um, a bit slow hands on cut and paste. Really, yeah. really not much excuse to not get that. He should be better at clicking, right? I mean, we talk about Cut and Pave being renowned for being the click hero. Like yeah. You just whack creeps real fast. Couldn't that's a that's a clickable offense, not getting the rune. Yeah. Do you reckon he has the auto click on, you know? Does anyone use that auto? I, I, uh, the only person I know who uses it is Flux, and he turns it on for the runes and then turns it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's it's. Uh, that's a heads-up play, though, actually. I'll pay that. Yeah, right? It's, it's not a bad idea. He's mine. Um, and, I mean, yeah, so as a Riz is going to be fine here. They don't have to take it. Yeah, this is going to be a boring lane, but again, Lon's just getting found and jumped on. Farnsey tries to get to the spear, and he doesn't get it off, but, I mean, they're going to turn, try and do some damage, but he needs Shaker. to be careful. Shatan's just going to whack him. He doesn't have a salve either, so he's stuck in this lane with no health for quite some time, <laughs> and none of them, are, like, they're, they're not getting any of this XP. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't looking too fantastic for this offlane. And it's still early days. Baboon and EJ really man up against each other. I feel like that's how you play mid, like pre level three on everyone at this point. Like you yeah. just you just try and get the most damage you can out. You're both gonna get that south. If you get a lucky kill, you get a lucky kill. If not, you force a south out. Yeah, definitely. I mean the problem with that is Baboon is gonna start really dominating this lane when he gets the spirit siphons up. They're super hard to deal with. And you can see here he's already starting to like get a few more denies, get a few more last hits. Yeah, just pushing him away, right? Yeah. He misses one on the tower, but that's just cast a curse. Yeah, same. You Two on the tower. Before, he couldn't get that one. Like, the timings on tower hits just sometimes jip you, and you just can't get the last hit. That's just how it works. Yeah, you have to live with it, though. It's one of those things you've, you've got to be fine with. Yeah, you, you've just got to be okay and not cry too hard. And uh, Zen 9. Riz is, Riz is dead. Cut and pace. Finding that kill. And I don't see a sentry in this lane at all. Yeah, I'm not sure how he dies with... No. He's got, he's oh, got one on him. He's got one. Don't get me wrong, but he didn't place it in just a free little kill. I think Riz might have overstayed his welcome coming into that sandstorm. The last time, too, I saw Flashpoint play an anti mage, it was the Hype Man anti mage, and it was godly. And if you if you think Hype Man can do an anti mage, Cut and Pace can definitely do it, too. Well, I haven't seen him win a game of competitive anti mage. That's the thing. Yeah, that's the weirdest one, right? Like, it's the hero he's most well known for, but he always loses in comp. But he doesn't get to play it much. Yeah, and that's because, as well, they, they play around it. You look at that lineup, that's not uh, let's protect anti mage lineup. That's okay, AM, you go do whatever, we'll fight. Yeah. And you can see he, he's, he's so well versed on that hero, he's, he's just absolutely balls to the wall, doesn't care. Yeah. He, he knows exactly how to play it. But top lane, they're all kind of just standing around each other trying to fight. Like, they're all going to be all in their faces. Yeah, Barlet, Barlet is getting free farm, though. 15 and 6 versus... 9 and 1. 9 and 1. I mean, I'm surprised it's 9, to be honest. Yeah, he should have got that one, too. It's 10. So he could have used... He had the bash. The God's Rebuke. 
The gods rebuke. I was calling it shield bash because that's really what it is. Honestly, I've called it that like constantly. And we're having another fight mid. EJ, he's starting to pull ahead a tiny bit. I mean, in the damage wise, yeah, uh, last it's basically. Net worth's a bit ahead for EJ. That's just yeah, coming that's down to blood. the three runes in the first, first blood. Yeah. yeah. That first blood's always going to help out. I mean, Baboon's not as far behind. Oh, Lon, he's, got he's getting chunked. Yeah, nice spear coming out though. Shatan should be able to get the last hit though, which he does. Farnsworth trying to keep his boy alive, but not enough, and he just gets chunked by this damage. Yeah, there's not much you can do in this lane, to be honest. I would have liked to see him go Chainmail before Boots, just so he can survive that crit damage coming yeah. out. But there's really nothing to do to win this lane. You're just committing to get levels here. You're waiting for level 6. Maybe maybe you fight when Farnsworth has 2 or 3 levels in the Spear of Mars. But before then, yeah, you're just losing this lane. There's nothing else to do it. Do you max the Spear or the Bash? In this I lane? think you always max Spear. The, oh, yeah. the, the spear range just gets so much better. The damage gets quite a bit better. Like 75 per level and extra stun and extra range. Yeah, everything gets better yeah. incrementally, right? All? Except for the cooldown. Yeah. But the cooldown's already pretty solid. EJ just getting a bit... Kuros is just blocking him, so they get the range. Now they've got a DD in. here. It's going to be real big hits from Baboon. Can they catch him, though? Baboon has to stop for so long, but they will get the kill on EJ. Really nicely played by Kuro there. He's been on fire today, man. I mean, Kuros is one of those here, uh, one of those players that really doesn't get enough respect to his name anymore. Oh yeah, he's been playing out of his mind at ESL the last two weeks. Last week, he literally put the entire team on his back and won a game we got MVP by last himself. Week. Like he, he was just he was just getting it done. Stuns up on Kuros at bottom. The Sentry now is going to be placed, so Riz just going to have a bad time. Uh, I think Riz has Sentries, but yeah, he yeah. spots them instantly. D wards. I'm not a fan of what Cut and Paste just did there. He puts it in such an obvious location that you can't really... He's a carry it. player. He doesn't place wards. He doesn't yeah. know where to put them. I mean, he buys his own sentries for Slark, but <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, end of the day, CMP is your highest, uh, highest last hits of the game. Yeah, and you can see the two net worths, it's starting to add up. Like, I know early on that's not the biggest thing in the world, but it adds up. It always does, yeah, and... This Top. is the only lane. This is the lane that's really keeping Zen 9 in it. Everything else yeah. is going absolutely terribly for them, but... Lon looks uh, pretty dead on my screen. Big crit coming out from Baller to get that done. Farnsworth now, too. Farns is dead, take too. a lot of damage. Baller's got that... He just crits him again. He just got a double kill. Like, this is what you never want to give Baller. A good start. Yeah, I mean, he's also maxing that crit, so he's got that extra he health regen in lane that he's going to be able to get slowly adding up. I think that's just the build at this point. You yeah, I think one so. One, three, one. I, whether it's 2-1-2 or 1-1-3, that's like, they're both pretty fine. Um, but just getting that extra health regen in lane is just so huge. And you can see it's really just making it super abusable in the lane. Yeah, they're gonna get the and they can't fight. Like, yeah, Ballas going is going in. Get... Chill, but Baller's going to get that lifesteal, as you said. The spear's going to be coming out. Baller, he's taking a lot of damage from this, but they're going to kill Lon for it. I don't think Vanzi can really kill him. He's got the shield bash. He is going to get Baller. That's a lot of gold going yeah. towards him, and he's not going to die for it. Huge play. Losing, though, he's going to go walk of shame. I don't think you mind. Killing Baller there was a big kill. Yeah. Farnsworth got so much experience for it, too. Like Farnsy, he's, though. Farnsy's he... a head of, of, of experience on Baller now because of that kill. True. A solo pick is actually huge for them. Um, they don't really care about how the lanes go except for this anti-mage, though. Like, obviously, mid's going to be a wash. Death Prophet can't ever kill Ember Spirit without a rotation. And we saw the DD rumor was the only thing that killed EJ. And that was before he hit level 6. Now he's got a remnant out permanently. I don't think he ever does. Yeah, as long as he, as long as he manages his mana correctly and he's never too low to use that ulti, you should never die. But on the other side, I think it's a support war. I mean, Shatan's level 5 and Oracle's level 2. Kuros is a god. Don't, don't diss him. Ah! Oh. I take it back. Kuros oh. baited himself. Yeah, he just, he just self-bait. There's nothing he can do there. Like, there's actually no way to outplay there. He just always has that happen. They've left Baller alone, though, and they haven't really punished this. Lon just being too low level to actually do much. Farnsy, he's making his way towards level 6, though. Yeah, I mean, maybe once they have that ulti, they can get something done. Uh, Baller shouldn't be allowed to do this. <gasps> ah! He misses the spear completely. He was dead either way, though. Farnsworth going to take a bit of damage for his sins. and I mean, Chitan just rotating in. He's such a high level, too, on this wipe. Yeah, I mean, these They're rotations still going. and fights have been so huge. Chitan's just sitting in every one of these fights. He's never really dying. I mean, that's what you want from your wife. And Sauron going to be picked up on Farnsworth now. And uh, they're farming. They're farming the jungle. They pulled the wave across, and they're farming it 
on in top of Corrosive's head. They've got two heroes that can farm very, very greedily down here in that Enigma and uh, and that Zanking. And we haven't really talked about this Enigma. I mean, Enigma very hasn't, hasn't come seen out of jungle. Roger has just been AFK jungle. He's got the arcane boots. He's going straight forwards to the mech. He didn't go ring a bassy, which is pretty common. But he's just yeah. Casually farming away. He's just having a good time. Nothing, like, nothing just, exciting here. He's just living his best life, mate. This is what you want on your Enigma, right? He doesn't need to help farm. They're ahead on kills. They're winning lanes. Yeah, winning winning lanes, or at least drawing even when you've got a jungle hero. But look at the push coming out from Baboon. He wants these towers really badly. I mean, he gets a lot of damage done on this mid he's tower. Still got, he's still got another 20 seconds left on this exorcism. He needs to be 16. careful because he is killable here. Like, he can die. And I think uh, he is going to do it. The triple remnant through. He's going to try and turn it. The soul siphon's going to be going. But with the rotation now from Roger Dodger, that's going to be just Baboon going down. And now, meanwhile, top lane, they are going to get the oh, ulti coming out. Oh, he gets an illusion, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, not not exactly how you wanted it to go. And yeah. they lose the Visage as well. Yeah, just a bit too aggressive. Um... He goes to the 403 build, so he has no silence. And he really yeah. pays the price for it. Do you think the silence would have saved him there? It might have. It might have stopped the Searing Chains coming out, which means he could get on the high ground. He had another four seconds left before he um, could actually get uh, away, though. Riz has got zero mana. Does Cut and Pace have his ulti? He is super greedy. I wouldn't be surprised yeah, if he does it. He does. It. Okay. And that's an easy, easy kill. Cut and, you, you can't let Cut and Paste farm an anti-mage and get kills. The thing is, they've got a lot of ways to deal with him in the mid game, so he's going to have to avoid team fights. And like they've we said last game, if he came to the team fights, they were going to win. And every time he did, they won the fights. I think they've built their draft around him not fighting, though. Yeah, like it, it, it doesn't look like they picked an anti mage to actually help at all. Like I wouldn't be surprised if he goes the super heavy split push. Roger kind of build, getting yeah. picked off here, maybe. Roger could it's be a lot of the damage. Black hole's going to come out though. They will catch two. Anti mage blinks in and he hits the black hole. He will. Kill him though. They do take one at least for it. Cut pace using that shield. Does get stunned up though. There's so many Eidolons, but he'll have his blink up again and will get out. So, end of the day, it's a one for one, and that's a much better kill for your uh, for your anti mage. Yeah, definitely. And having to commit a black hole to get a support. Yeah, support. Yeah. Um, he's got the veil though. Sinking veil. So that's yeah. pretty big. I mean, Riz is Riz is top three far. Yeah, he's, he's sitting Four. up there pretty well. The, the issue is he has died a few times, and that's a lot of gold thrown away with those two deaths. But that's that's what you do as, like, an offlaner all the time, right? Like, if you have high CS, you've usually died. Yeah, that, and also, like, generally the way he's been playing has been super aggressive to get those last hits. Yeah. And you, th you he's think if, been, he, if he wasn't playing that aggressive, how much more would Clay have? A cut paste. Well, I don't know. Clay's just been farming over the top of it. That's the thing. He hasn't really cared about that sandstorm. They haven't really been perturbed by him farming. So and now, that he, now that he's got the perseverance too, he doesn't have to worry yeah. that. This much. is the big thing though. He can farm the jungle to stop anti mage from farming this in between the lanes. Yeah. And you can see cut and pace. He pushes the lane to try and get more. Oh, Shatan, you might be getting picked off here. Yeah, it's get Stunned again. And meanwhile, on the background though, you've got them just trying to fight. Like they, they don't. And no one really wants to fight up here. They're all looking like they just want to back. The burn's pushed, though. He's committed. <laughs> yeah. They do use the uh, Glyph as well to keep that range creep alive, and they're also protecting mid from EJ. So they will put a lot of pressure on this. You see Baboon, too, just kind of hiding like on the side, making sure he doesn't get yeah. like. Taken. Are they trading, though? They're trading a quite a bit of damage coming out of EJ. But it's, pr it's pretty much an even trade right now, damage-wise. Yeah, I mean, the Ghosts don't do a crazy amount of damage this early into the and game. And, yeah, they've committed to the Fissage... Familiars and then yeah, it's down. But EJ almost half, takes half turn. three quarters. I mean, he, might, down. he might still take it. They're not coming. Anti mage here, your boy. Cut and paste defending. That's not what we usually say ever. Yeah, why is cut and paste defending? I mean, there was farm. There was there was three. There was two range creeps yeah. and two melee creeps. He that's wasn't actually he was there to defend. He was there to farm. They but have traded this though. That's going to be undefendable. They've definitely given up this tower. Yep. Roger's starting to really push. He's got that buckler. He's got a full mech at home. Roger's got a lot of money, man. This is the, this is the window they want to be playing around. Roger Dodger Mech, Sand King Veil. Vale. He's probably going to go straight for the blink. Yeah, 1,400 gold. They're the two items that you need to start snowballing. Don't let Cut and Paste just AFK farm for 20 minutes. No, you don't want that. And I mean, the Chaos Knight and the anti Mage basically have the same net worth, 200 apiece. But Chaos Knight has gone the Midas. Yeah, Midas armlet. So he's going to start to skyrocket a bit before that Battle Fury comes out. Once the Battle Fury comes out, Bala cannot keep up. No, there's no way. But, I mean, he's going to go that Midas, going to go the Armlet, probably go the Blink straight after that, and you just start blowing people up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've seen how easy it is to kill Lon. 
He doesn't have the items to support his hero. He's sitting at 2,000 gold. That's a bit sad. And Karosu might get picked as well. Yeah, I mean, they've got three heroes. Is he playing line. dumb? I think they're playing dumb to try to find Bala with his yeah. Farnsworth ultimate. Ah, uh, Farnsy <gasps> misses the ult. Uh, oh. I'm with Farnsworth there. That hit in my eyes. Uh, it misses the spear as well. But meanwhile, bottom lane, Zen 9 is just pushing. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can really do to stop this. There's a there's a hard amount of push. Maybe They're going to blow up the from little uh, summons, but... That's it. That's the end of the push. They they were committed to losing a tier 2 to try to kill Bala. And it, call me crazy, but Bala walked through that. There's, there's a small period where it looks like it's finished casting, but it's not. Yeah, it was that close. Another half a millisecond, and I think Bala's a very dead man. Yeah, mid lane, AJ. He's fine. Lon actually smoked for that, too. It was a bit weird. Yeah, I, Lon's been playing a bit strange on this facade. He hasn't got the farm to do what he wants to do. I don't think he's that comfortable on the hero. He actually has played it a lot, that's the thing. But he hasn't played it pause 4 slash 5 much. And that we saw last game, they've really committed to having three strong cores, two weak supports. Which is not something we're used to in this kind of me meta. No, it is a bit strange indeed. And I mean, you see from Zen 9 they're leaving like three heroes bottom a lot. With the Wyvern, the Sand King, and the Enigma. Wyvern now sort of moving away. Mm. Yeah, but they've left Bala alone a lot up here and he hasn't died for it once. Oh. On the other side, Clay's level 12. He yeah. is quite chubby. I mean, when you're above the other carry that has a Midas, you're looking alright. Before you get... This is a, this will be the Battle Fury wave oh, here. Bottom? Are they going to go on the... No, Mars? I mean, Mars just pushing out the lane. He's playing it safe. I think that's his... Yeah, I think that's his um, Vlad's coming in. Yeah. So is it, do you think he'll go the Deso or the Blink? Or Blink then Deso? Bless. Uh, you got to go to Blink. Blink first. I don't even think you need a Deso on this hero. I think you go Pipe, to be uh, honest. they got a Pipe coming on the Visage. It's going to be late. It's going to be real late. It'll be later than it would be on the Mars because the Mars is getting the Blink first, though. Right? True, but is Lon getting farm? He's farming right now. He's starting to catch up, but he's still quite a bit behind. They could go too, but yeah, I think after the Blink, we'll see maybe a BKB. Something just... He doesn't need to do damage right now. I think you're all in on damage from Baboon and Cut and Paste. Cut and Paste got a Battle Fury. And he's sitting quite pretty. Yep, he will be pushing top bottom lane, though. They're all positioned to go on Farnsworth. This this lane this lane is very hard. Farnsworth is doing a decent job slowing it down. He's just but spearing. I think it's a matter of time before he gets caught. It is. But I mean, Baller, on the other hand, he's getting caught. Yeah, Baller could be in a bit of trouble here. They do have Baboon there. They got the ulti off on him, trying to keep him healthy, but they will be getting the heals. And 9 though, coming in with the big epi stun from Shatan. That's going to be two going down. Very quickly. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Farnsey does go down as well. Kuros is going to get caught here too. They take out four. Cut and paste gets a tower though. So, like, uh, small wins. Not worth. <laughs> I mean, uh, cut and paste coming to that wouldn't have done anything. Nah, no, for sure. I mean, this is the anti mage special. Until he gets three items, he's actually a useless sack for your team. He's, he's a negative because they know he's not coming. It's not like a PA or a troll where they might come into the fight and you have to be scared. You know anti mage is not coming. But he's level 14. He's he's starting to really skyrocket. He's two levels ahead now. I don't know how Bala is keeping up net worth with this armlet build. Because he's getting kills. Si oh, he's 6 and 1, actually. 6 and 1. He's obviously a bit behind on the CS, but 6 kills at heads 6 up. kills and do add up indeed. And I think the thing is, too, is they're taking down towers. Like, they're, they're pushing waves. They're oh, corrosive? Maybe? Uh, definitely. I think, uh, I think it's the cool there. He looks to be uh, very dead on my screen. Oh, nice stun, and they Double catch two. EJ now dead. with the roots here, and this is just looking awful for Flashpoint Gaming. Zen 9 have said, you're not doing to us what you did last game. Yeah, and do they find Shatan up here? I mean, cut and paste goes in on him. There's not much Shatan can do to get out of this. You can just fly over trees. Um, cut and paste, just getting played. He just got played. There's Boone, on the other hand, is getting dove. He doesn't get caught out. This is the window they need that. They need that Axe pretty badly. Because with that Axe, he can basically solo defend. And once you can solo defend on a core, while you have Anti-Mage, who knows where he'll be? Yeah, I mean, all in all, they can. They don't have to win this early game. They can rely on the cut and paste machine, but there's so much to stop him on the enemy team. Yeah. It's, not like, it's, no, it's nowhere near a free Anti-Mage game, you know? Yeah, I mean... 
Black Hole is huge for it. Winter Wyvern Alt is huge for it. And they can't really stop the Black Holes. That's the thing. They don't have a great stun from range. Oh, you've got the Epi going into mid lane. Lon's going to be going down again. Baboon as well, just going to get insta gived by Baller. They want to go for more. EJ going to be running through. Oracle going to be going down here as well. And Zen 9 are just playing so much, so much better than Flashpoint right now. Flashpoint can't do anything. Yeah, so much better. And also just a better lineup. Like... We were talking about how they're all in on this anti-mage. The anti-mage hasn't activated yet, and Zen9 are really doing what Flashpoint should have done to them. They've just abused the fact that they're strong. Yeah, and meanwhile, mid lane, backdoor protection is going to be going down. This is going to be an easy tier 3. They might be able to get more Mars. I think it's a wrap. Result, I don't think this is a way, there's a way to defend this. Okay. Trying to go on to the, uh, the lawn creeps. Yeah. You're not going to yeah, buy back anti -mage for 12 isn't seconds. Anti-mage isn't coming back either. So until Death Prophet revives, maybe they can do something. They're still keeping it alive. They've got so no slowly. fortify though, and Farnsey's dead. You have to commit the ulti for him. Silence is going to go off though. Long going to keep himself alive for a little bit longer. They do get the ult from uh, one. Oh, do they find Riz? Yeah, he's going to get the stun away. They can't commit onto them, and Baboon's used his ult now as well. I thought Clay for a second there was going to come in, but nope, he doesn't want to bar it. They've lost the racks. That's enough. Zen 9 are in full retreat mode. They don't really want to be hanging around unless they can find a pick. Fake back. Roger Dodge is just standing in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't mind. He hasn't got the blink. He's just got that Greaves and a Windlace. I'm surprised he went for the Greaves and didn't just hold the Mana Boots mech and then get the blink into Greaves. You don't need the blink. That's the thing. Like, when we saw that, that big fight there... The blink wouldn't do anything because you're blinking onto a tier four. You just want to sit in this area here. You want to sit in like that little chunk here yeah. and just get the greaves, make yourself unkillable, make your team super hard to deal with. Oh, smoke coming out from Zen 9. Oracle will break oh. that though. Did they not get the... They didn't get the courier either. Oh, they might still get it. They got it's clay. Like, yeah, that's the much better than a courier kill. He has no buyback either. Uh, did he just buy... His, he yeah, bought, he bought out the, the ultimate, ultimate orb. orb. So he's down for 40. I think there's another Axe. You've got 15 seconds on Chaos Knight ulti. You've just got Shatan in the background healing people constantly with Cold Embrace. That's another Axe. I think this could be going to a game three very soon. Yeah, um, it's the same timing as the first game too. About 20 minutes in, Zen9 saying, oh, you want to play a timing game? We can do them as well. Yeah. If not better than you. Less surgical though. Yeah. Flashpoint would just like... One and done. There okay. was so uh, the ult is going to come out. The epicenter is going to be there. The insta kill on corrosive. The black hole is going to be there. To fall. It looked like he was about to cast it. Didn't go for it in the end though. Baboon's Baboon. staying in this, but they've got a spirit siphon now. Yeah, he's very dead though. That's going to be your DP dead. Oracle has bought back into this one as well. They are going to take down another and. I mean, they're just clinically walking through Flashpoint Gaming right now. They push them all back into their base. Clay's alive again, but what does your anti-mage do? He can't do anything. No, it's it's too little too late. I think you prep for game three right now. You yeah. think about what my draft's going to be. Because that's a heart. This entire fight, CK hasn't had the heart. And once he gets that, where, where is he going to die? He's going to have 4,000 health. He isn't dying even without that. Like... Cut and base is just not prepped and ready to fight this. He's not. And that's why it was weird seeing the anti-mage. You were, you were not really happy about it. I, I was curious to see how it played out. I wasn't happy in the fact that I thought it made the game very hard. And lo and behold, the game's looking very hard. You reckon that was a cut and paste call too? Give me the anti-mage? Um, I think they asked him. Do you reckon anti-mage is playable here? And cut and paste special is, yeah, I'll farm. I'll be fine. But... We're starting to see what's happening. It's starting to drop down real heavily. Um, that's where you're at. Is that a, that, that's 100%. Nah, 99 and 1. It means it means 1% of the time Zen 9 throw. That's about right, yeah. That's ba that is also based off pub games, though. Yeah. I mean, competitive is, is a lot different. But, that, I mean, there's 17k gold ahead, as we saw. XP about 20k. Like, this, this, they're so far behind. Cut and Pay is going to be going for that bash. He's calling the blink range. And he, is he getting picked? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think Bala just commits that. It, it drags him back anyway. Yeah, who cares, right? You both just end up dragging each other. Yeah, drags him back the wrong way, but you don't really need. I mean, the he's, extra he's just going to blink out yeah. straight away. I mean, attack slow. Oh, no. I oh, can't no. hit very fast. Oh. I'm a Chaos Knight. I'm, I don't hit fast, anyways. <laughs> he's so tanky. Yeah. He's got 4,000 HP with the armlet on. A bit more, because he's getting yeah, strength shades 4.2. Um, That's disgusting. 
That's uh, that's CK for you, and he's still beating Cut Paste. Yeah, I mean, there's the Midas, the, the, the double the, racks. There are double racks down, and also the pick off. The pick off was what did it, I yeah. think. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Uh, Zen Nine are just looking so much Cut better. Cut Paste, he's farming so close to this as well, but he still hasn't got Basher. You can't play Dota until you get Abyssal, I think. Like you need you need the full abyssal to play Dota. I mean, and you need this axe. All in all, like Clay is ahead of where he should be uh, as standard anti mage. Uh, I don't know. He's, like, he's, like, he's about a minute ahead, minute or two ahead. Nah, because twenty three minutes, you want to have three items. So I think he's behind, like by two k. Because there's a window there from like fourteen to twenty five minutes, say, where they don't have the potential to blink jump you with multiple heroes because they just haven't got the farm to have multiple blinks and you've got the battle fury so you can farm wherever you want like you, you can see he's farming the ancients sometimes on the wrong side doesn't care yeah i mean this is, this how is the safest place for him yeah and he's gonna cut the creep waves here yeah. yeah he didn't cut the right way but everyone's just so poor they finally got the blink dagger on mars so they might be able to play of this but Death Prophet's still no Ags. He's still not 15 yet, which is that extra Spirit Siphon. They're going, they're going for the wraparound. It's a hard wraparound. Because if you find anyone, I think they can just turn around and kill you. And here they go. They are going to find one at least. But can they do anything? Riz is going to be there with the stun from that Sand King. The ulti is going to be coming out from Mars. They have trapped a few in here, but who's really trapped with who? It doesn't look like they can do much. Cut is going to be in the middle of this fight, but here comes the ulti. Black Hole is going to be there as well. They have the anti-mage. They have the, uh, one more. And I mean, they didn't do anything from it. they just all dying. It's too little too late. That's going to be four going down. I think you call it right now. Gaming. I don't think there's anything you can do left in this game. Good game, going to be called, and that's going to be it for game number two. Flashpoint Gaming. Pretty surgical. They, they got taken out. Zen 9 basically went, okay, let's do what Flashpoint did. Let's hit a timing, and let's do it well. The, the big thing with that was they didn't even have to have that push lineup. They just outplayed them in two out of three lanes, and they had an anti-mage. Anti-mage is renowned just being a slow carry to activate. And they abuse it. They pick the CK last. They said, yeah, you know what? We don't really care what you pick last. And I think Barla would have been laughing to the cows came home when he saw their anti-mage last pick. I Yeah, I didn't understand why they picked the anti-mage. Like, sure, it's a cut-and-paste hero. That's the only reason it was there. If it was any other carry player, they wouldn't have even well, been thought that's of. That's the thing. The Troll, the Ursa, the PA were all still in there. They banned out the Slark themselves. That would have been a fine pick as well. I think it was just a bit of... Arrogance, I think, is the word for it. When you have that game one victory in 20 minutes, you say, you know what, we can do whatever we want. But Zen 9 put the foot down and said, no, no, no. You're not the favourites here right now. We are meant to come into this and we're meant to win. Yeah. So let's. I mean, it should be close. And both games have shown that it can go anyway. Well, that's the thing. Both teams have won in like that, that sort of early mid game, that, that 20 to 25 minute mark. Yeah. That's where both of them have won the game. Are we going to see... Another, a game three that's I want like to see that? a 50 minute slugfest. I want to. Why? Why do you want the 50 I minute I find it slugfest? fun. Because I don't have to do the play by play <laughs> in the team fights. So I can just sit back and relax every time there's a huge team fight and be like, yeah, this is fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you just get to watch the team fights, not yell at them. But we're going to go to a quick break. 1 1 right now. Let's see who can take game number three. Remember where it started. Your first experiences. Remember where you came from. The journey you traveled. The journey you love. Remember where it started. And imagine where it will go. Rise on. Remember where it started. Your first experiences. The journey you traveled. The journey you love. Remember where it started. And imagine where it will go. Rise on. Confirms it. You got hipsters. Multiple hipsters? Oh, you never get just one hipster. Ah, uh, place is riddled with them. 
Three natural ingredients, 100% Arabica beans, and you're cold brewing it. What'd you expect? Shoot, hipsters. Scram! So what do we do? You could try sprinkling some instant around the place. Dare cold brew. A fancier fix. Hello everybody and welcome back to the ESL AUNZ Chance for Dota 2. We're back, 1-1, Flashpoint Gaming, Zen 9. I don't know who expected this to happen so far. Both of these teams have been playing semi, semi well. I'd, I'd, I'd say pretty well in all, in all total. They've had hard games, both teams. 
I didn't expect the one ones to be so lopsided. Yeah. I expected it to be a two one win, but close. Both of these games have just been like, you know what? We've outdrafted you, and now we're going to outplay you. There's just nothing else to it. They've won both steps of the way. And I'm hoping Game 3 is an outdraft, but not an outplay, and it's a close game. Yeah, you really want that 50-minute slogfest to really test if Everyone I'm like, wants that. I don't no know. No one wants 20-minute stomps six games in a row. Let's but be they're, real. They're not, they weren't 20-minute stomps. That's the big thing for me, right? Is that... Oh, I mean, I think Game 2 I'd consider a stomp. Yeah, Game 2 was a lot different, I think, for Game 1. But then again, I think Zen 9 need to win these because they've got this name behind them where it goes, we should be better than Flashpoint Gaming. As you see, head-to-head, -head, Zen 9, Flashpoint, 1-1. One, one. I'm into it. 1-1, one, one, and uh, oh, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a few bands that look similar that we're about to fly into. Yeah, I mean, look. Like, Dazzle first band. Yeah, Ooh, that's I mean, a surprise. Oh, spoilers, man. Spoilers, all right? Okay, I'm spoiling a draft. It's not like I'm spoiling a game and saying, oh, I actually know who the victor is when it's a live game. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Every stream is... is there's no live on Twitch. It's all... It's all What's that? 30-second delay, you know? Yeah. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, as you say, Dazzle Kunkka oh, being banned out by Zen9. Mm. I think they go, okay, because we beat them so well last game, it was it was purely because yeah, they had those heroes. Remember. I think that's what they're, they're committed to. Yeah, um, and you saw Zen 9 didn't really change the way they wanted to start their draft. They just picked the Ember Spirit. They said, what have you got for us, boys? So once they see the Ember Spirit, then they change out Wind to Wind Wyvern. And the Rear Sand King, <sighs> Roger Dodger Enigma, both Dodger. of those heroes were pretty good. That early Greaves doing a lot of work. And we see the Ember Spirit banned now. So they don't want to play against the EJ Ember again. I mean, what would you? Three games in a row, that's just boring for everyone. Change it up a bit. Like Change You've seen Baboon play two heroes. Now I think it's time for EJ to play two heroes. And so is Baboon going to go back to, to play the... Uh, Death Prophet again? Death Prophet again? Maybe not. That didn't really work the way they wanted it to. But they needed they needed the Death Prophet to get to the point where Death Prophet is scary. And when you had an anti-mage, two of your heroes aren't... Oh, at the and pick first pick, sinking. I mean, it's, it's a great hero. The I think that's what won them the game, to be the, honest. The Spirit Break is still there. The Omni Knight is still there. The thing is, you've left the Oracle in, so you can't Spirit Break a Darkseer here. Because you're just going to get Oracle. What are you talking about, Wogglet? You pick Spirit Breaker. Yeah, it was in a tier Darkseer. 6 battle cover. I thought I'd be fine. <laughs> you literally gave me a Darkseer to play against an Oracle. Yeah, sucked in. Five seconds it was like the worst the learning experience. Okay, the fact that we almost won that game is <laughs> yeah, telling. It's so bad, yeah. But uh, as we <laughs> get into it, Flashpoint thinking about what they want to do. Um, I think Flashpoint really need to consider their starting drafts. Both times they've done before, they've insta-picked it. But they're showing a bit of poise that they're maybe like, oh, do we want to just run it back and go Magnus PA? You don't need to pick your carry here. Oh, so Wind Wind, I like that. Okay, all right. So they're going big team fight. Yeah, I mean, the cooldowns work for them in game one. They had they had no ridiculous ones. But Magnus doesn't need the RP. That's the big thing. Winterweaven doesn't need the curse. That's well, the big fear of it, right? It's the fear of the curse. And Splint Blast does a lot of damage. It's 350 damage at level 7. If you start adding those up at a 6 second cooldown, you can really clean up a team that aren't paying attention. Five yeah, and they've always got the reliability of Clay now to where he doesn't have to commit items to farming. He's got a Magnus with him, so they can rely on that. So now I'm going to pick up the Crystal Maiden. Seen this hero a little Greedy bit. Greedy Roger Dodger CM. I want to see it. So we're going to see... A what, minor CM. Shagger on the... No. What? No. Roger Dodger did it last competitive game. He picked CM. You went Midas. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying I want to see it. It'd be funny. Yeah, not saying it's good. Just saying he's done it. Um, did he win? No, I don't so think so. This is a while ago. Yeah. Last time I saw it. Um, truth be told, I think it is a Shatan hero. He plays that hero fantastically well, very well but rounded. I mean, you can put Riz I think Riz sanking, again. Yeah. Like Riz, we're talking about. He's a good sanking player. I know you said Shatan's the sanking boy, but historically, he's the been. times have changed. Riz is the young gun. He's the young blood in the in the team. Really, Radiant just taking stabs at stabs at us old folk. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. That's the standard. Not even veiled. Not even veiled. Uh, Kits just straight full on calling you all old. Yeah, I mean, Shatan is older than me, though. So. I've always got to point out when someone is <laughs> older than me, right? It's what I hold on to. Is he to. the last one left that's older than you? Uh, Danog's older than me. That plays. Oh, that plays? Uh, I think he might be. 
Yeah, but I don't play. Oh, they banned out PA, by the way. Yeah, so We're not going to see that Crit Lord coming down out of RP. They've left a lot through. So I, I think Cut and Paste has to pick a stable carry. I don't want to see an anti-mage. Just give him the Jug. Like, if the Jug's not banned, just give him Jug. Magnus with ah. Jug is just so classically good. I think they ban the Jug here. You either ban the Jug or the Troll right now. There's no reason not to. Like, you're not really scared of Baboon's hero pool outside of the Dazzle. You're not really scared of Corrosive's hero pool outside of the Omni Knight. And Farnsworth's been a bit iffy. Like, even with that Kunko pick, it wasn't hot. It was it was pretty solid. It didn't do anything wrong, but it wasn't fantastic. Yeah, there were there were a couple of really big boats that helped them win fights, but just because of the boat buff. But he was landing them too. He was hitting, like, three or four people yeah. a lot. Um, the torrents weren't like exceptional, and the axes kind of. Yeah. I mean, he was, was just he was just a hero that was a well-rounded part of the draft. It wasn't like he had to be the flashy core. Yeah, I mean, Kunker's really better in Underlords than it is in Dota, you know. No one, mm, no one really plays Underlords that much. What are you talking about? Still better than Artifact. <laughs> I mean, I could design a game better than Artifact. All right, settle down, mate. Settle down. Let's make a card game that's brokenly OP. A void band. Okay. I don't mind that actually, because you're obviously going to pick a core that needs to farm and needs to farm by himself a bit. Void is the best picker of so like solo heroes because you just jump in Chrono, you get two or three bashes in the Chrono and he's dead. There's nothing he can do. There's literally nothing you can do to save him if your team's not around. But it is really, it's really showing that they're scared of team fight right now. They're scared if Zen Nine groups up as five men, they want to be able to pick them off. So they really want them to pick a core. It doesn't want to fight at the 15 to 20 minute mark like a CK. Yeah. I mean, Flashpoint now, I think they uh, they need to pick their carry in these in these two picks so they don't get one more clay hero um, banned. The, they have last pick, and the, I'd say there's three clay heroes left is the big thing. It's whether or not you want to give Baboon a really nice lane or if you want to give Cut and Base a really nice lane. I think Baboon has a more stable roster of heroes that he can play, so I think you pick him earlier. Just pick play last. I'd like to see Alina, something along those lines, something decent at the twelve to twenty minute mark. A nice pacement here, a pacing hero that doesn't require a lot of team communication. You just Laguna someone and oh, oh okay. Uh, 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 I'm wrong. I'm so wrong. <laughs> oh my god. So I mean, this is the, it's it's the last game. They're knocked out of stage one if they lose this game. They've they've practiced. This is a practice strat. There's no way this is random. Hey, I understand you've got the skewer into mines. I just don't care. It's not a good pick. <laughs> but the problem I have with techies is... <laughs> Everything? Yeah, He's correct. a hero that's actually fantastic if played well. Because he can push the lanes like no one else. Like one mine kills an entire wave. And you can play that split between the tier 2 and tier 3 tower. You can even play the split between tier 1 and tier 2 comfortably. But it's just so hard to set up a mid-game winning situation where you have a techies that's the one split pushing instead of an actual carry. I mean, that's the thing. The only time I ever see techies well, and I hate to say it, but it's when Blake, one of our boys, plays it because he, he just cuts waves, right? You I cut mean, that's waves how you have to play lane. Yeah. But uh, I, I want to see the early game of the high blast off Five and use it to remain. fight. That silence is insane. I think you try lane like a Winter Weaven Techies plus one. So the Winter Weaven slow Splinter Blast is a lot of damage. The Techies suicide can be comboed with that slow. Yep. And you have something that actually has a stun, like a Sven as a carry. Yep. So that way you can stun, slow, jump, boom, dead. Just pick a tiny. Especially because you pick see... Pick a tiny, man. Uh, the thing with tiny is he's not as bursty as you think. Like that... Obviously, he wants to throw out his avalanche, which isn't that much burst damage. It's the toss that does a lot. Yeah. And if you accidentally toss a techie's mid-suicide, it's going to look so gimpy. <laughs> Don't laugh. If, if he picks tiny, it's going to happen at least once uh, that At least game. once, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really fit into the cut and paste play style either if they're going to play a position. Well, that's why I'm thinking Sven. He gets the cleave, yeah. he gets the empower, and they just try to one-shot people with RP. Because right now, having a Zeus means they don't want a prolonged fight with a non-BKB core. They could also pick Lifestealer. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. That's an also decent pick here. It's decent with the Magnus too. Like, you can jump into the Magnus. He blinks in RPs. You come out and just rampage through Decent. Them. I mean, and the Cleave. The one problem Nakes has right now is he's hard to farm before he gets that Midas, before he gets that Radiance. Oh, he can really fight in the mid game. Oh, oh, no! Why? Just because they, they picked a Zeus and baited you into an anti-mage pick. Flashpoint have fallen for it, I think. 
I don't like this pick. I shouldn't be biased, but I just don't. I don't, don't think this is going to work out for Flashpoint. No, you're already saying this game's over. Yeah, I'm calling it now. I'm going to call this like a 33 minute game. Ten seconds. Really? But exactly on. Exactly. Last it's, time I was 30 seconds off when I did an exact on call. Yeah, so it didn't count. So you weren't exact. So I'm calling 33 minutes. Th- between 33 and 34 minutes. That's, I'm giving myself a one minute that, window. That's not an exact call then, is it? It's an estimate. Within the mark of 33 minutes. That's an exact minute mark. That's the call. Is it? So it's yeah. going to be 33 point something. Mm-hmm. So what happens? It's like just on 34. Is it all that? Yeah, I'll lose. I'll take that. I'll take that as a loss. Take that L. Um, is the, the thing so, so dinner's on you if you're wrong, right? No, nah, I'm not paying you dinner. But um, the thing with Zen 9, their draft is so well-rounded right now, and it's also a nice mid-game fighting lineup. Yeah. It's also something that can really deal with techies. You just Zeus bolt high grounds. Yeah. You'd no longer die. No. And CM means Zeus doesn't have to worry about mana as much. He's going to be sitting on 5, 6 mana regen at level yeah. 7, level his, 8. His early game, like, he'll have to rely less on buying a lot of clarities, right? Well, it's not... The early game's less the problem for Zeus. It's surprisingly the mid to late game. Because he builds... Nowadays, he builds an Aether, Ags, Yules. Aether and Yules don't give that much mana regen. Ags gives none. So you have, like, a 1,500 mana pool, but you have, like, 11 to 14 health, uh, mana regen. And you can spam out. Like, he is one of the most spammable heroes. You can use not... 1,500 mana in, like, 20 seconds. Yeah. He might be the most. He might be the most mana-intensive bar Storm Spirit. Russell? Radiant team back. Low mana cost. And CK, yes, I like this. This is a nice, well-rounded push draft that has a play style from minute one to minute 50. After that, you're going to struggle. I don't know, man. Ultra late game Chaos Knights are some of the scariest But against Wind Women, he's just going to kill himself. If you if you hit the right one, Wind Women F. Alt. That's a big F. Even if you don't though, you set it up to a point where you can set up the entire team fight around it and then just combo him down. Yeah, but then you have a uh, a a Sand King stunning your whole team because you're all standing in the same. And place. you're also an anti mage, so you're not going to be ready to fight. I just uh, I don't know, man. This, this Flashpoint Gaming are digging a hole, jumping inside of it, and then trying to climb Ten up the mound that the dirt they've pulled out of the hole. They've just made it such an uphill battle for them. I don't know how they're going to get away with it. Yeah, I don't know what their plan is. Like, anti-mage techies just seems like the grossest thing. I don't really like it at all. But they have one pick to save their draft. What's the pick? Lena. <laughs> Lena versus Zeus is fine. Um, there's Actually, there's nothing that can save this draft. This draft is going to be an absolute dumpster fire. And it's going to come down to more Zen 9 getting outplayed by Techie's minds than the game actually being a playable game of Dota. And they banned the Lena too. Good. That's a nice, solid ban. Zen 9 have got their heads switched on. Flashpoint are coming in having some fun. And that's not even a Zeus mid. That's a Zeus pos 4. So it could be, yeah. Could greedy, be greedy Rog coming in. Could, could be could be an offline Zeus as well. Uh, I think the Sand King on Riz was too strong to not give it to him. That's the big thing. And Roger's greedy. He's a greedy boy. He's going to pick this Zeus and just straight up build a null talisman at like two minutes in and start whacking people. <laughs> you laugh. Just wait. <laughs> no, nah, he is. It's no, you're not wrong. That's the thing. You're not You're not wrong at all. He, that's what he's going to do. He's going to be just be a huge greedy guards. I hope so. I hope so. And TA is another hero that can push really heavily. Venom. Venom. So no, they I mean, picked that straight up because of the TA, right? Yeah. It's also a hero that can slightly delay the game. But that's a pause five techies. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this flashpoint. No, nah, it could be a pause five lon. I mean, they were both playing pause five the yeah, last so two Kuro, games. So Kuro could be farming the offline as techies. Oh, it's just, I don't know, man. I think flashpoint their heads just imploded. I think they're just having some fun. They know they're going to play in stage two. They've cut, hit that point. How does Cut and Paste not have any items for anti mage Is he on a stick? They actually stick. <laughs> <laughs> what? I actually don't know. I actually don't know why he doesn't have any items. Maybe you turn them all off. He's just like, base yeah. anti-mage is best anti-mage. Uh, that's just wrong. He gets distracted. If there's too many flashing lights, he's like, oh, I don't know what's real anymore. He just but, needs to hit creeps. Yeah, because he doesn't have his like... Three hundred dollar PC anymore. He upgraded slightly. Oh, he did too. Well, you notice you don't have to pause at the start of every game. CMP's in now for like a minute because he hasn't loaded in. Yeah, I mean the man's the man's a god. You wait for him. 
Yeah, you Especially do. when he picks Anti Mage into a <laughs> into a Sand King Crystal Maiden CK who can blow you up. The big thing is Roger Dodger Pulse Four. He's going to have a high mana pool and he's going to have a low actual like f- mana. He's going to l- obliterate his mana pool over 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 again. So that's the hero that you need to pick if you're cut and paste. Yeah, that Zeus is your target. At the same time, though, at what point in the game are you able to jump on a Zeus without the Sand King or CM being near him? Yeah, not very often. Not very often at all. You see uh, Clay went 15 and 5 on the last 20 anti-mage games. Uh, that doesn't include competitive games. So that's just pups. Yeah. So for battle. that last L doesn't count. I'll never know. <laughs> I'll never know indeed. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Not like this, Corrosive. <laughs> he's holding okay. it, he's holding it, he's holding yeah. it. He's hold it. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank, I, I don't know if that's much better, but... <laughs> he's, he's come back for it. Get I can't watch anyone, I'm not watching. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it. <laughs> if I don't see it, it didn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we're going <laughs> to we're, we're spectate this game. <laughs> that's, how we, that's how we always count your spectating, you know? Yeah, straight up. Didn't happen. Didn't Missed happen. the first blood? Didn't happen. Didn't happen. What are you talking about? No, actually, I'm, I'm curious now. Hey, you went back for the oh, madman. Oh, yuck. All right, so it's it's the Oof Techies. Cut is going to have to run out of this one. See, this is just showing that Flashpoint did not build a strong draft. Riz is just walking into them in early game. He doesn't care. I mean, they're still going to fight them. Cut and Pace going to lose a decent amount oh, of health. Oh, Roger could be dying here. Yeah, yeah he Roger gets that's, slowed. That's a dead Roger. That's a dead Roger. That's a really nice first blood. Give it to Clay. Give it to... Yeah. yeah. He wasn't meant to get that. He should not <laughs> have got that first. <laughs> oh, Corrosive. He's oh. just threatening. He's threatening. Get him, Kuro. Jump in there. Suicide. Yeah, Baller's going to be going for that rune. Meanwhile, Magnus is going to be going for the other. So they'll swap. So they'll get three. Was it... Uh, I think... That's... Yeah. yeah, looking at three, yeah. Yeah, okay. So good start for Flashpoint. Get first blood, get three runes. That's pretty good. And you've got a techie still. Stop stop talking bad about the techies, man. Kuro's going to Kuro's gonna pop off this game. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, Those man. auto attacks are looking real filthy. Yeah, but he's got an oof, so it does heaps more damage. <laughs> Neither of those heroes do any damage with their auto attacks, so that's the thing. I mean, 47 to 35, that is going to be the saddest last hit war if they actually leave the lane. Like, if Bala leaves the lane right now, it's going to be the saddest lane. Yeah, it would be pretty sad. But how do we feel about this Venno versus TA? Like, TA is just going to get burned, right? Not necessarily. The thing is, you don't actually remove the extra damage. Yeah, you get rid of the d- defensive charges, but he can still farm. Yeah. But and you've just got to stay on him, right? You've just got to keep fighting him. Yeah, you got you got to really engage in a high fight mentality. But EJ will be able to jungle a lot quicker, which is probably what he's going to do at level 4. There's no reason to stay in this lane. Oh, oh. Okay. Missing a yeah. few here. Missing a few. Nothing nothing real real special is going to happen in these lanes, I think. I think where it's really going to pop off is when they start to get the suicide combos with the mines. Because they, they've put the techies up here with the Magnus, so they're going to try to skewer into the mines. Yeah, but he, he he says blast off level 1. Yeah, we'll wait for level I mean, he also didn't go skewer level 1 either, yeah. so... It wasn't a level 1 strat. Yeah, they're, they're thinking about the late game, you know? Level 2 is the late game for them. In this lane, yeah, that is late game. Level 2. Hmm. On the other side, though, this lane's going pretty well for cut and based. I mean, Roger's getting really low here. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead again. And cut and paste has got that stick, so he's fine. It's yeah. another kill for anti Bit but of we, a greedy boy, but we, like, we, yeah, he's we, getting away with it. We saw this last time, right? Where CMP had a great Ooh, start. Oh. Big suicide coming in. It's corrosive. Spicy. It is looking spicy. I mean, I did say Kuro was going to pop off this game on the stack. It's because you're such a naysayer. I've got him. I got my boys back. Yeah. He's, he's looking good. He's, he's going to get that, Gets that first blood. Gets the XP from it, which is actually the big thing about the suicide. It actually does give you the XP. Yeah, at least. you get it like uh, if you kill them as you're dying, like you get the experience, yeah. which is fine. Um, and also you can get experience from mines globally, which is pretty solid. That's pretty nice. Which is why sometimes you see techies get over leveled because they they get all these solo picks around the map, and they're getting solo XP because no one is ever near the mines. I mean that's the point, right? But uh, Lon just having a bit of uh, bit of troubles with Dota. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I've lost my techies in lane. I've got to reconnect. I've got to rethink my strategy now that I don't have a techies. Graining, you can just TP it. But he's just being a bit slow. A bit slow. Maybe maybe it was a disconnect from techies. 
Corrosive just taking his time. I think th this is the issue you're going to have, though. Can cut and paste? Like, he had a fantastic lane last time. He's having another fantastic one this time. Can that translate into a mid-game where he can win? I mean, they've got the team that can stall. They've got Attackies. They've got Venno. They've got Wyvern. It's hard to push into them. That is true. Um, I don't know if you can secure a late game entirely off an anti-mage when no. they've got TA, Zeus. They've got a lot of stuns on their supports as well. This is a BKB anti-mage game. I think so. Yeah. And there's not many of them because you tend to avoid it as much as possible. But I don't think you can this game. I think you have to buy BKB. Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is going to stop you with BKB is that level 25 talent if it gets to it. That meld bash it is insane because you can't stop it. And Roger Dodger, he's... Yeah, again, bottom lane, CMP in a bit of trouble here. He is going to get out of the Rog. Rog. I mean, he doesn't die. On and the other side, though. Ooh. He's fine. Everything's fine. Give him the tip. That's it. And c c classic, like, CMP, he's not backing. Nah, he, he smells blood in the water, and he's like, ooh, he creeps. Missed, he just missed two last hits. There. I know. We, we, Caster Cursed is hard on Clay. He doesn't, know how to, he doesn't know how to deal with it yet. He's still, he's still a young blood in the competitive scene. He's not. <laughs> he's been playing competitive for like five years. Or I don't count it until he starts winning. Oh, that's, okay. that's where we're going. So, so he's brand new. Yeah, he's brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Absolutely, like, just came out of the box. <laughs> Mint condition, Clay. Yeah, someone opened a packet of cereal, and they got a cut and paste. Farming hero. I kind of want cereal boxes now with like Dota heroes in them. Like, I'm gonna be players. funny. Like, be cool, right? like you know, collect the cards, but yeah. like just they're like, in your like cereal baseball, box, like yeah. baseball cards, but Dota cards. Yeah, I'd buy cereal just for that. I don't really eat much cereal. Just but smash I boxes of cereal in the Seven Intel Studios. Smash boxes. I mean, of I'm pretty renowned for snacks. Is cereals the, ne the next step? That's the natural progression. That, that's the snack we'll be getting. No milk or anything. I don't. Know, I, I when I have cereal, I have it with no milk. I know. You it just makes eat me it out of the yeah. box. No, nah, I mean, I put it in a bowl first. I'm not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not a complete degenerate, yeah. okay? I'll, I'll correct myself. Corrosive, he's setting up. Yeah, he wants to go for EJ on this. I mean, if they get the slow off, and like they get rid of the refraction straight away. So they should be moving in now. He's going to yep, get, yep, he's getting hit by the tower. Blast off, is it going to be there? It's so hard to land, though. He's just standing there right now. He's going to go for the blast off here. Takes a lot of damage on EJ, but once again, he's not going to die from this. Oh, my God. What a disaster. You just you just literally just did nothing in the lane, and now you've got to walk of shame at somewhere. Walk of shame. I mean, he's... He's, he's got the TP, actually. He waited till the TP was up before he did the uh, questionable play mid. He doesn't want to walk of shame. Yeah. Oh, there we go. He's TP top. I mean, back to his lane. He did push the TA out of lane, however, so the Shrine is going to be used for that. So, small victories. Yeah, it is It is a bit of a victory, but is it enough? Is it enough to make this techie's pick worthwhile? No. Ah, wait, no, I'm the proponent for Kuro popping off. Yeah. I was about to say, you can't turn the tide now. I'm not I'm not back. I'm not losing that double psychology when you go, yes, 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 and then you say <laughs> no, and then I say yes. <laughs> uh, it's not going to happen. Damn. I was really banking on that, honestly. Just really banking on that. Oh, I like this though. Counter spell leveling up, so he can just sit in the um, sandstorm a bit more. Yeah. Cut and paste, farming up a bit of a storm. He's 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 not. He's twenty five attack. Hmm. It's not massive. Uh, it's enough. Two kills as well. It's yeah. The issue is Riz is going to get a really early veil. Yeah, really. I mean, Riz did the, the same last game too. It's just the Sand King special. Like, I've talked about it last week as well. You can buy the crown, you can buy the helmet of the Iron Will, all from the side shop. And you can buy your boots. So your first 2,000 gold, all yeah. from the side yeah, shop. You, you never have to leave the lane. The only reason you're leaving is because you died. Yeah, pretty much. Because you usually carry mangoes and some tangos. So you don't even need the mana. And he's got the CM, so he definitely doesn't need the extra mana. And with the change to Sandstorm, obviously, he just feels oh, so popping safe. off mid. Yeah, they will manage to take down the Venom in mid. They're trying to turn something around onto EJ, but he's fine. He's going to walk out. And they've picked the Venom to win mid, and TA's winning. I don't think it's a winning mid matchup. That's the thing, because EJ hasn't even had to go to the jungle, but EJ can just farm this camp here over and over again, and he can catch up that way. And as soon as you get the traps down, you can't engage on him. You can't jump, because he'll put a trap down, turn around and four-shot you. It's just too, it's too hard to deal with. It's not it's not a matchup that you actually want to be a part of. You want the Venno in the game. I don't think you want it in the lane. 
So maybe put the sort of Venno safe lane. You could have a Venno like pause four, honestly, and then play it like that. Well, it's just for the dot, right? Like to Pretty much. And even then, the dot's not that fast to remove the shield. You don't remove the damage, so you can still kind of get outlast hit. Barnsworth going to be fighting Roger here. I mean, Roger does a lot of damage. I don't know I don't know how much you want to fight this one, Pansy. <laughs> he's going to turn, though. He's going to get the slow off on him. Venno, he's not rotating in, though. So. It's an odd fight for both of them, because I don't think either of them were ever going to get that kill. But no. it's about sending a message. That's what it is. You've got to assert your dominance. And we do see Baboon as well going the max ward. So he's not going all in on like the poison against EJ. Yeah, I don't mind this. But the thing is, he can still two-shot these wards. 195? You get close. Ah, uh, Roger? Yeah, it's... it's oh, yeah, there. I reckon you could do it. I mean, Baboon's taking a lot of damage here. The CM's going to be dead. rotating Straight as well. dead again. Grosov, meanwhile, coming in on the back end. Uh, you've got to get out of this one, fam. Uh, he's got the suicide, he's got the salve, but realistically, I don't think he's setting up well enough in this mid game to actually launch. I'm a bit worried for Kuroi, I'm a bit worried for Flashpoint in general, truth be told. Yeah, I mean, it could just be Zen9 walking away with it. As you said, it was a very, very strange draft from Flashpoint. They've got a techies, they went back for the anti mage again that didn't really do anything in game number two. Yeah, and so they found him here. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. <gasps> Roger Dodger just gave him away! He hit the bolt and then let him suicide. Oh no, Roger. You greedy boy. He was like, oh, I gotta do damage to the enemy so we kill him faster. Oh, oh no. But he's a no. I mean, not the end of the world. You actually sacrifice literally nothing. Yeah, they're, they're not really too good. I think Karos is worth about 198 gold right now. Yeah, he's, 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 he's literally a walking big creep. But, can they, can they keep it up? Cut and paste is staying up there. We haven't really talked about it, but Lon's getting a decent bit of farm on this top lane. He's gone the double bracer, he's gone max in power, and they get the kill on CM. Just burst him. Yeah, a nice little kill going their way, and Cunpei's going to be forcing Roger out of here as well. I mean, that's one of the things we have to respect, right? Is the fact that, as you said... Oh. Ah, he's, he's just taking damage. He's all good. I think that could have been a bit iffy if, if Zeus came in and bolted, but he, only, he is only level 3. Roger's really struggling to find levels. Second only to the techies not finding levels either. Yeah, but techies never does. I don't know. An early game techies can get some hard levels just finding solo suicides. Sand King on the back end, hearing the stun go off. They will be able to go onto this Wyvern. Farnsworth just going to go down, trying to get that rune, not going to be able to get it. Roger Dodger going to be taking a bit of damage here from Corrosive. We're only going to be rotating in. But I, th I think this might be a fine little trade if you're Zen 9. And you see AJ, he didn't even flinch. He did not even come to help his team. He's like, yep, yeah, nah, I want my farm. Sorry, boys. I mean, that's kind of the TA special right at this stage. Like, you can either, you can play one or two ways, right? You can play, like, high aggression, go that blink first and just be fighting with your team. Or you can just farm. And yeah. meanwhile, the Chaos Knight has, has he sat in his lane and farmed. He's going the Midas. Again. Yeah, I mean, as he should. You can see he's sitting at top net worth by his own teammate. He misses the catapult. Misses the catapult. Unfortunate yeah. little play. But yeah, it's it's hard for Lon to play this lane. I think he's just finding a lot of farm in the jungle, which is smart for him. Like, if he can't find the lane, he can come in else. and push out. But Baboon, look at this. What are we playing? Defense of the Ancients? Oh. oh. Yes. It's so bad to watch. <laughs> yes, we are. But uh, Corrosive going to be using their blast off to try and get something done. Oh, Farnsworth just gets get down out, that Fancy. hill. That, that ran out, like, as he was going down the hill. Yeah, this is... i got to be honest. This is this is an RTS game happening right here. You I don't do, really see this in mid too often. No, nah, it's, it's pretty weird looking. I do love a uh, good old RTS, though, you know? It's, just, it's old school Dota, you know? Yeah. I don't want to give up a single inch of ground. I can't afford it. And he, he's so close to this Desolator already. All of these items are going to come out so quickly. Riz is close to a blink. He's already got the Veil. We talked about CK, he's got the Midas slowly coming in on the Courier. Yeah, I mean, Zen 9 are about 3k ahead. Like, and they're looking not, pretty. He's not going Battle Fury. Okay. I I like this a lot. He's realised that his team's not going to be able to buy him enough space, I think. So he, he's going to go something to fight in the meantime, I guess. But it feels bad, because then you've got an uh, Anti-Mage that isn't doing what he's for. But he's I mean, got he's power. Got a Magnus. He's That's got a Magnus, right? So it's not like he needs the Battle Fury at all. 
As long as he has Empower on him, he's basically a better version. And the early item farming, getting that Manta plus Empower is actually way more farming than just having a Battle Fury. Yeah, you've just got to make sure your Magnus is always close enough to you. And once he moves to the bottom end of the map, the Magnus is going yeah. to have to follow Well, once around. Magnus gets his Blink, I think he no longer he's has to farming, play lanes. Right? Yeah. Where on the other side, anti Mage is just going to be farming for the rest of the game. Cast yeah. not going to do a bit of damage to Log, but I mean, he's a Magnus with double braces and seven up. He's yeah. pretty. He's pretty safe. This is the window I think you wait for for Zen Nine. So now, thirty gold. Thirty gold. They're going to take. They're going to want to take this tower. Um, Farnsworth's in a really rough spot. Yeah, he has to commit. But now, do you stay around and try to save this tower? Do you give it up? Because as soon as he throws one blast out, they're going to know he's in there, and then they're going to look for him. Yeah, he's so going he to blast bail out. He's got no mana anyway, so it's not like he will be be bringing anything to that defense, even if they do try and defend it. They don't push fast with these two heroes. Uh, even the uh, the Wyvern actually didn't go back to base. I don't mind that. He's, he's got no mana. Like, he's he got one extra gone, blast. He should have just gone back and then come, like walk back. He's going to solo use this. Don't do it. Do it. it. No. He's going to do it. No. Bad dragon. Oh, he's so tempted. I can someone snapped at him. I can someone was like, "Don't you dare touch that." Yeah. So someone like me just now. But he lo he lost <laughs> this, and we're seeing what Techies can actually do. He's starting to he's starting to push the lanes out. He's starting to split push. It's getting him up in the levels. He's level sickness now. And I like this play too. This is this is the Zeus isn't going to be scouting these areas for my mines. Maybe I get lucky. The problem is, how many mines do you have to put down to kill a CK? Yeah, to a kill CK, a, a CK, way too many. TA, you're not going to kill because of the refraction. Yeah, like if you if you play it when the refraction runs out, yeah, that's fine. You probably kill it. But 1300 health, you still have to place five mines. So it's, it's a lot of time spent for maybe not getting a kill. And he's let a wave, yeah, just casually cleaning him up. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. CK is just going to farm under his tower while... I'm amazed they've let him run this okay. much. All right. So he's going to get saved. Oh, don't do it. No. No. No, he hasn't cast any spells on you. You must know this isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not real. You know it's not real. No, nah, he's not going to okay. do it. He got hit by it. He, he, the auto attack did like six damage. There's no way. And you also see Shatan in the mid lane. There is no way you pop the mines for, us, for an illusion. Here. I just got worried, okay, man? I got worried. Oh, I don't mind that, though. We didn't really talk about what Flashpoint we're building, but this early Spirit Vessel really can put it to TA, really can put it to this C CK. And it's a great item for them to have. Techie's still pushing up top. CK is going to be going for him now, though. CK is not happy that he's allowed to do this, and Kuro's going to die. Did he, he ultied for that. Yeah, I don't know about the ulti, because he's only going to get maybe maybe these two camps here with that ultimate. So it's not really much of a victory farm-wise. And it was the pre-level 12, too, so they're even weaker. They're even slower to farm. So, Meanwhile, bottom lane, we've got TA just pushing. EJ already took out that tier 1. Now pressuring the tier 2 with that Desolator. We'll have the Blink coming out. Oh, Epicenter. Just the Blink in with the Fail. Going straight on Lon. That big melt hit 2 will be going down. Roger to clean up that one with the Lightning Bolt. They're going to once again just keep pushing. Take this tier 2. Yeah, I mean, this is the window they want to play. They've got the armlet. They've got the Blink. They've got Deso. They've almost got Blink on EJ as well. EJ's fat. Everything is coming up for Zen 9. And... We were talking about it. Are they ready to defend? They've got zero mines on anything, and Corrosive is a very, a very dead boy. He's fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> yep. Super fine. He's fine. The tower almost gave EJ more money than Corrosive did. Honestly, I think it did. That crate wave definitely did. Yep. Sure not they, exactly they might find EJ here. They're really committing here. You can yeah. see everyone's come in, including Cut and Paste. Lon's going to be moving in, but he's going to miss the skewer, and I think that might just be his way out. Oh, huge play! Tiny pull back, and that will be EJ going down. Clay going to be cleaning that one up as well, so CMP with a bit of money. He's obviously not going that Battle Fury either, so he's got the Manta now. So he's got the money for the Manta. He can actually be useful. Yeah, the problem, Way before he's the problem is he actually has dropped quite a bit behind, even though he's rushed these early farming items with the cleave. He's just falling a bit too far behind. And he's going scouting next. So he's going like full fighting anti mage. I like it. I do like the change in variation. If he had to just go on Battle Fury, whacked creeps again, I think the game would be close to over by now. Yeah. But you can see they're actually scared of him. They know he can fight. He's 3 and 0 of the 5 kills his team has. I think he needs the perseverance for the mana region. Um, he's missing. He's missing. Like I think that. you start every time you get an item drop. Like he just went for a magic wand at 17 minutes. 
every time you go for an item drop, you buy clarities. Like, you buy two or three clarities. You've got the extra slot, so you might as well. But he's holding a lot of gold, and here we go. Manta prepped. They're going to start looking for fights a bit more now. And Corrosive, he's, he's found a little high ground for himself. He's a little sneaky boy up here. Just a little cheeky one. That's the problem, right? Is that Zeus is going to bolt these obvious places. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, if they ulti like that, they're going to find him. CK's in a fight with Illusions. Yep. And Lon's going to come in as well. He's got no mana left. Cut and paste is ripping through him. Should be able to get that ulti off if he wants to commit. Oh, the ult, though. <gasps> Ooh, tries to turn it, but doesn't oh get it. Oh, my God. He's that was still, close. He still had that ulti on cut and paste. So they can get rid of them. Riz now, it's going to be standing here. They're going to just send everyone in. So out they get, but Clay, uh, Cut and Paste is already out. Mid lane, they were trying to fight as well with the poisons from Baboon, but end of the day, they killed the CK. That's a big kill for them, and anti Mage is now your top farm. He's he's doing this well, honestly. Like, I might have spoken too early. I, anti Mage might be able to carry this game, but I still stand by the fact that this hero has done literally nothing for the team. He's doing seven. What's yeah, I mean, a lot of them are suicides. I was going to so say... 7, 9, 10, 11, but there's only 7 kills. Like, he's got 4 suies. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, the, the techies is weird, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's still a lot of time out. Like, it's still a lot of time where you're out of commission and can't help the team. Yeah, you're just kind of being but useless. But it is something you take a suicide over a death. Like, same as Pudge with Rot. You count it as a little victory every single time you get the Rot suicide. They also got rid of his mines on that high ground. Yeah, the worst thing was he was standing here and he got hit by Zeus the ultimate. Zeus so he actually would have seen them all and be like, oh yeah. Okay. We should probably... Oh, oh big, big RP! And the double poison coming out from Baboon. What an initiation go from Flashpoint. They just take out two instantly. Damn, Lon. Just walk in, Lon. Making this game look playable. Every... I mean... <sighs> hey, get him, Karosu. He just steals the little... He's, he's, he's catching up. He's got arcane boots prepped as well as... Trankle Trankles. I don't mind that, you know. Just get extra mana regen. I don't know, man. Maybe I spoke too soon. This game's starting to look playable. That was a lot of gold. a lot of gold. EJ dying there was a big one. Lon as well. well that was such a nice initiation. That's back-to-back -back deaths for EJ in these team fights. Every time someone gets picked. And also, Barlick died top as well. Pretty much yeah. alone. Yeah. Like, they're starting to get the picks that they need. They're starting to get this farm. And this Scardi is going to really hurt once he gets it. Uh, he's, a, he's a fighting hero, not a farming hero. Like yeah, he's I mean, he's level 16 again, so level 14, but this time he's fighting with that extra level, with that extra ability. Yeah. And it's not like he farms slowly, even without a Battle Fury this game, because of the Magnus. <laughs> it's just depressing. <laughs> also, I like these, I like these remote mines, like the little chests. They're quite cool. I don't mind them. They're like a nice, nice little addition. Cool. But you still have to play techies, so yeah, it's not I'm really going to take it back and say they suck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to hate it if they win just for the sheer fact that techies wins. Yes, yeah. for sure. At least you're honest with yourself. I mean, I'll be honest. If they win, it'll be off the back of Lon right now. Yeah. Like he's doing so much work. Cut and Pace is playing very well with the farm he's being given, but Lon has just made these team fights look playable. He got that pick here. He got a really nice RP in the bot lane to kill EJ, and then. Without those two team fights, this would have been a wash right now. They would have been losing tier twos on every lane, not just bot. Yeah, and they will be grouping up bottom lane on Zen 9, trying to push through. But meanwhile, they're just... Okay, yeah, goes for the impact. Nice, yeah. nice. A little bit of GPM and then impact. So he hasn't gone the, the Gale CD plus spawn. Yeah. So he's not going to be a complete toxic nuisance in the mid game. Just, you know, mostly. Just mostly. I mean, that's the point of a Venom. But they will be able to take this tier one mid. Uh, Z9 pressuring bottom lane, anti mage still farming top. They're trying to rotate into him, won't catch him. He's going to blink back, uh, TP back. Oh, here we go. Fight's on. Oh, they get the Wyvern ulti here. They will be Does able to Riz get prep? I think Riz bails. Yeah, Riz yeah. is just completely gone. He's let Roger die, sent him to the walls. Yeah. I mean, they don't really need to commit anything. I'm surprised they didn't honestly leave it for cut and paste there. But not this time, CNP. Not this time. He's, he's got uh, he's got his Scotty, sorry. Yeah. Um, he's. He's, he's ready to fight. He's 2,000 gold ahead of the CK, and the CK has a Midas, so that's, uh, you know, it's wasted. I, it I, is in power gold. That's the thing. So it, it, it does really skew the farming ability because Empower is just so strong. It's way better. Like, 74% cleave is way better than whatever you can get from a Battle Fury. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's heaps better. Why Do they it? find EJ up here again? No, he plays it safe. He's not going to get caught out by Lon. I think it would have been a very hard pick to do with the two supports anyway. Yeah, and Long going to be building that four staff as well, so he's going to be so hard to deal with. 
Yeah, they, they've all built very nicely to, to complement the fact that they picked this draft. Like, you see Baboon, he's gone all in defensive. Like, this Spirit Vessel and the Pipe are super good for his team. Cut and paste, Mantiscardi. Winter Weaver hasn't really got items, but you can't expect much from him. He's been playing really well. And then Techies is just the uh, the rogue liability. You never know what it's going to bring. Like, he's done a nice suicide in the mid lane. He's been an absolute nuisance. And yeah, Farnsey could be in trouble top lane. Looks to be going down. Does get the ulti off, but not going to save him anyway. Meanwhile, CMP oh. just blinks forward. CMP. Yeah, he's up. He's fine. I think this would have been a fight for them. Oh, oh nice. Hit him there to dodge the mountain. All right, all right. I think this is a fight for Flashpoint. They're going to see Riz in the bot lane. He's farming by himself. They could definitely afford that. They might actually go for Riz here. Kuro and uh, Venomouts are going to be moving down. It's a hard kill. That though. is one of the hardest combinations because you've got zero stuns, zero slows. Kuro just of... walks into him. He blinks yeah. out into Baboon. It's going to be there with the ulti as well. And here he goes. He just TPs out. Yeah. He's, he's gone. I mean, maybe with a Stasis Trap or a Yules coming out of a boon, that might have been a kill, but I think that's just wishful thinking to find that kill. They were just praying to the gods of Dota that he would forget that he had a TP. Oh, and Butterfly's next. He got the purse too. Yeah. So he picked up the cheeky I wouldn't mind too. seeing that turn into a Lincoln, to be honest. I don't think you need it yet, though, right? Like, you don't want to go. You double. want another offensive item. The Butterfly's going to be huge for him. Because of the amount of physical damage coming out of CK, yeah, that, that coming CKTA out of TA. CKTA is going to be much less scary when you have that butterfly. He's already got 2,600 health, so he's quite chubby. And 25 armor. True. And the pipe. He's going to be hard to kill in these team fights. And the DD comes out. Okay. Right. So we're going to look at DD rune versus the Heart of Taras. They're the two massive pickups right now. But I think they're going to go into the Roche pit, maybe. They're thinking about it. Clay doesn't want to. He's like, I'm going to go far. Well, they, they will know. Zen 9 obviously have that trap in there. But they're just they're slowing the game down a bit, which isn't a bad thing for an anti-mage pickup. And obviously, when it comes late game, Techie's Venomancer. How do you ever go high ground against a Techie Venomancer? I'm not even talking about the RP coming out, the Winter's Curse coming out. There's just... There's not much Zen 9 can do to survive this high ground. But we might be here for 90 minutes. Yep. We might be here for 90 minutes. <laughs> Look at this. It's going to be the slowest Roche, and Clay just finds Roger Dodge and three shots him. Uh, he's a DD anti mage with a Scardi. He was hitting for 480. Yep, he hits pretty hard, man. He, he literally <laughs> would have three shot Roger. Yeah. And now they go for the Roche. Yeah, so they know they're one they're one person down. Like, it's a lot safer to do. They still need to respect this. The Chaos Knight's going to be up on the high ground right next to them, too, as well as the Crystal Maiden. The thing is, they can see him. They yeah. saw him there. And that Sentry doesn't see their ward either. So, like, they, they can't get rid of it. TA's going to be moving through mid. Oh, they have smoked, though. Yeah, they want to fight. Do they this. go for this? They're going to see them very quickly. The Sentry's going to be Cut dropping. Now they, now they see Baller. Lawn's on that high ground. They see them. So they've got to back out. They both teams back out, though. That Look, DD the mine's runs mid. out. Mine's mid. They're walking through you them. Reckon? Kill them, kill them, click them! Kuro! This hero still sucks. <laughs> oh, that, that's, <gasps> that's, that's on Kuro. Like, that's 100% on him. He oh, no, oh, cut and paste. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, cut and paste Mantis. Does get stunned up along now with the big save. CMP just blinks in, like, super short range. Goes for one. Wilka won. The Yules is going to be there. The blink is up again. They will manage to get out two buybacks coming out straight away. CK just really ripping through them. CM going to be buying back here as well. They're not going to let them go for the rush. BKB going to be used on EJ, taking down Baboon. He does not They're have the buyback. Out. Okay. Back out of this one. Double buybacks used for Flashpoint. Kuro could have killed, or if not... I think he would have killed the CM, maybe no one else. But, but now you go into Roshan Pit. The mines are still here. There's still nah, more mines. Yeah, they, they know the mines are in there. Just use them. Yeah. Like, it, it's free damage. Kuro really messed that one up mid. They would have killed the CM. They would have done a lot of damage there is. They wouldn't have been able to fight. Now Farnsey's dead again. Flashpoint Gaming have just absolutely crumbled this game. I mean, oh, it's cut and paste does what he can. Cut and paste special. In. Can he do it in by himself? No, he cannot. He's going to go down for this one. And he's going to have buyback, but there's no point. Your whole team's dead. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say it, man. Techies is a liability. Yes. Blast off. Let's go Get him, boy. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh. He suicided after the Roshan died. <laughs> oh, Kuro. I love him. Sometimes he just plays like absolute diamonds. Sometimes you, you wonder <laughs> where he's put his head in the ground.
As you said, they dug themselves a hole into this draft and they have to climb their way out of it. The anti-mage, yeah, like, the anti-mage has been it good. It was even. Yeah. That's a 55%. It's dropped, it's probably dropped down to 75 with that tower, with that Aegis coming in. And Bala just walking up on the high ground, not caring. He's got, they weren't prepped. He's got 3.7k gold right now. He's got the heart already. He's so tanky. Do you go... Yeah, so he's got the Blink loaded, but he's not I think, buying I it. think Blink is the go. Because right now, he can blow up anyone he jumps on bar end match. So if he, he can, can probably jump... blow up anti-mage. I don't know, man. That's, that's a lot of health. <laughs> It'd be close. Like, if you get a couple of crits, he's dead. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. The crits are not random anymore. They're the, the cooldown. You have to get them. Oh, oh. oh, Lon almost saving it for his team. Doesn't quite manage it. I mean, Lon's been playing great today. Like, all day. He's been playing great. Yeah, he's just... I can't, I can't fault him today. He's been playing real good. I, I honestly don't say this often, but I feel quite bad for Lon right now. He's usually the one with the clowny draft. Usually the one with the clowny play style. That could work, but it's just high risk. He's been playing out of his mind this game. And, uh... Baller not going for the greed as well. Going for the reality rift pierces immunity. So, just in case AM get his, gets that BKB, it won't matter. Oh no. Oh, oh no. He, he, I'm not even seeing them anymore because Riz stuns with Veil and he literally loses a thousand health in 0.2 of a second. And, and this is nothing you can do. Yeah, they're not going to be moving up to high ground. Baboon. Baboon. He's losing a lot of health. They will get the shield on him. They are just going to keep going though. The Sand King going to try and do what he does. BKB going to be used on TA. Uh, oh, he changed his mind. He didn't go for Oh, the... big RP, but where's the damage? Anti Mage just isn't here, and he's going to go down. And I think this just could be it. Yeah. Is N9 just going to walk away with this one? Flashwalk Gaming showed some signs of life this game with uh, changing how the Anti Mage was going to be played. But I mean, at the end of the day, he went top lane with no TP scroll. His team gets picked off a bit too much, and that's double racks. You can play on from here, but it's going to be quite a hard play on. Do they back, though? Because Lon doesn't have oh, his Jesus. Okay, Techies is in a little bit of a pickle. He'll be going down. Anti-Mage going to try and do what he can here. Try and save this game for his team. Baller run, it's run out of mana. He's got the butterfly. This is this is it. This is like the last team fight that's going to be viable for them. Can he find a pick off on anyone? They all seem to be bailing out pretty easily. And yeah, he has gone for the Lincoln's next item, so he won't have that Basher. But, uh, I don't know, man. It's looking really uphill for Flashpoint Gaming right now. I feel like that's been the entire game in a nutshell, is that they've had an uphill battle since the, since the start of this game. Yeah, I mean, the start looked almost passable, despite the fact that the Techies pick up really was struggling. But it just goes to show what happens when it's a 5v4 game, because... Techies can't play these team fights. He's got no items. He's sitting so poor on the net worth right now that he can't really engage. If he suicides in, he's not going to kill anyone anymore. And he just gets one shot after the suicide lands. Yeah, I think the blast off is just for the silence now. It doesn't even do any damage at this point of the game. Nah, not at all. I mean, yeah, CK just bought a full. The other AC. thing is, has he got many Stasis traps off in team fights? I haven't really seen many. Uh, they did smoke on top of a trap. Yeah, not great. So I have a feeling. Not going to work. Uh, TA, also, TA not. also just picks up an MKB. And you've got an Assault Curious. And a Greaves. Baller and Greaves. They've got so much. Ah, uh, yeah. They're I, 20k gold ahead. This is it. This is this is like the last team fight right here. And it's going to be on the Dire Shrine. It's going to be a frontline CK. You've got no mines set up bar one Stacey's Trap, I believe. Yeah, Ulti's going to be coming out from Zeus here. Here comes the stun from the Ooh, CK. See He's dead. He's instantly out of the fight. Baboon's going to try and do something. Meanwhile, on the back end, Riz going to be getting the stun through. Yule's going to be going up onto the Zeus. They will use the Shrine here. Long with a nice RP coming through, though. Zeus is going to be going down first. CM going to be using that big ulti. Cut and paste trying to move his way in now. Does use the ult to cancel it. Now, with the Wyvern ulti, they do get on top of the CK. Do they have the damage to take him down? It doesn't look like it. Clay just gets out of that one in time. Baller trapped in by all of these wards. Actually gets pushed out by Lon, though. Baller going to be getting out of this one as well with that Glimmer Cape going off. EJ now wants to go onto Baboon. Clay going to be jumping in onto the background. Cut and paste doing a lot of damage to the Sand King. Will move out onto him. Does get the blink through. Dodges the stun, though. Meanwhile, on the back end, you will see the Venom Ounce to drop to the TA. And T-Mage will finally get his man. And he goes forward for EJ. <gasps> He's in this. The He's Aegis dying. just popped. The Aegis just yeah. popped and just he died because of it. Died. And Baboon actually gets the kill too from the poison, so a thousand oh, gold going his way. That was actually a really good fight for Flashpoint, despite the fact that they were on the shrine. Yep. They get that big fight win. It goes to show that they they have a 
place in this game. They can play, but it's just still such an uphill battle. They're still 17k behind. The yeah. big thing they have, though, is their 25s become very, very hard to deal with yeah, if see, they make it. And Baller just kills Corrosive. I mean, we don't even need to talk about it. The, the techies died, team. But uh, Baller going to be run out of mana here. He uh, no longer takes any damage from cut and paste. He's still going to try and do something. The mana shield's going to go off. He's got to be ulti. careful here for the cut The ulti does, like, no damage. Oh, he's just going to go in the background. He, he ends the kill on the CM. Might as well get the free gold there. He's well, got the Lincolns. And he also went the magic resist too, uh, as his last talent. I mean, you might as well. The, the extra void mana cooldown is not great because the only people you can blow up really are the CM. CM. You're going to hit for four hits, and the Zeus, probably five hits. You're going to kill them before they actually run out of mana, so there's no real reason to do it. Plus, it saves you from buying that BKB, which we talked about that he might have to get. Now, instead of the BKB, he's suddenly sitting on 80% status magic resist. That's insane. And he's got 70% physical as well. Yeah, I mean, 35 armor. That's, that's he doesn't, do he, he, it. It doesn't take a lot of damage. He's got like 3k HP and evasion. He's very tanky. Yeah, I think the MKB hex is going to be huge if yeah. they can get him off. But he's going to have to Hurricane Pike to remove that Lincoln. Yeah. Blink and Hurricane into Hex. Like, that's too much time for CMP to respond. Um, on the other side, though, that Axe is going to do a lot of work for Roger Dodger. He hasn't really been playing this game that, that aggressively. He's been getting picked off quite a bit in these team fights, having to stay on the sidelines so he doesn't get blown up. The Axe is just going to enable him to be a global presence hey, look, every Kuro's time. Hey, look, just walked into ball. Oh, no, Kuro! Oh, my God. Yep, dead. Um... It's just depressing watching. I gotta be honest, for the fact that they have a three and fourteen support, Flashpoint are looking pretty hot. Yeah, they're playing this game four v five, as you do when you have a techies. Like I, just in general, I, you have to be like the, one of the best techies players in your region to make it viable and competitive. And I think Corrosive's just a bit rusty. I want to say on the hero, which is a good thing. That's actually a compliment, saying you're rusty on techies. No, it's not. It means you play techies too much. No, if you're rusty, it means you're not playing him recently, which is like, that's fine, that's okay. <laughs> but like, I, I mean, they've got to deal with this raid boss that is the Chaos Knight. Like, he's just so hard to kill at this point. He's got so much armor, so much HP. The big thing with that is he's basically max slotted. Uh, he can get rid of the Midas. He can get rid of the Midas for one more item. He can obviously build the Moon Shards, but... I think you get a Scardi next on him and you become nigh unkillable and no one gets away from you. Okay. I think Satanic is actually the go. Just more strength, more status resist... And it's something that it can really reset the team fight. The Scardi might be good, but he's gone the BKB. Okay. I, I mean, wouldn't have mind seeing something like a Nullify or a Bloodthorn from him either. That would have been fine. An Abyssal would have been funny. Yeah, I mean, Blink Abyssal is never a bad plan, right? On any hero. Well, the Lincolns makes it a bit hard, so you're not really getting that kill. But it's just, it's a nice strength item. It's a nice little lucky proc if you get away with it. And there's no downside to it. He can basically build whatever he wants. And he sold the Midas. He sold it already for the BKB? Bit early. He hasn't got the Moon Shards, hasn't got the Boots of Travels 2, hasn't got the Ag Synth. I think they just want the BKB and go end this game. I think so. They're worried about these 25s that are going to come up soon, but he's a late in. He's quite yeah, a far behind. This Veno has fallen off massively. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the XP, you can see it's pretty much that. The only reason it's only at 20k is because Cut and Paste is so far ahead. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's a hard game to, to play like that. Bash is going to be picked up on CMP. How far off buyback is he? How much money uh, does he need? I don't think he will ever see a buyback from him. Yeah, I think he knows if he dies in a team fight, it means the rest of his team has died too. Yeah, mid lane. They're going to be doing a bit of damage to the Zeus. He's going to put the ulti there to try and do something to keep him alive. Glimmercade is going to be used as well. Meanwhile, on the back end, you are going to see the big RP coming through. Here it goes. They're catching everyone. Three heroes in the middle of this. They're taking so much damage. I see MP now in the middle. Going to be obliterating that Crystal Maiden. And two down so far. Buyback going to be coming out from Lon. EJ does have that BKB, though. He does have the double poisons on him. CMP needs to get out of this one. EJ should start losing a decent amount of health. Riz now going to get that stun on Oh, the Meld Mage. Bash. The Meld Bash. Oh, no, <gasps> he's disconnected. Oh, cut and paste. Not like this. Not like this cut and paste. I don't think anything ha that happened there was changed by the fact he DC'd, though. He got he's, hit by the Meld he, Bash, he, he got and bashed. that's when he DC'd. Yeah, he got bashed up. But... That's going to give him a lot of time to think. It's going to give him a lot of time. So, how much more stun? Yeah, I think he's he's out of the stun now. 
yeah, he can blink out now and he'll be fine. They don't have any more stuns, right? No, they do not. No stun there. No stun there. Definitely no stun there. So I think he might he might get away with this. Where's the rest of his team? Sam bought back and went to the shrine, so she's on her yeah. way. I mean, Lon, Lon, Lon is right here. He's got the four staff too. Yeah. So I think Cut and Pace is going to get away with this, but god damn, he is not going to hold buybacks ever. That's, that's someone else's goal. But he's definitely not got buyback. He's 370 gold away. I don't know what you're going to do here. All right. Well, if we take a look at the anti-match, he's going to be reconnecting. He should be able to blink out of this one. Right? He's fine. I think so. I think so. I hope so. I actually want to see the game go for a bit longer, just so I can see Techies die a couple more times. It has been fun watching Kuro die. So he's getting three shot too. Like, Bala finds him. He's like, oh, hello, corrosive. Whack. <laughs> you are dead. It's like, do I even bother pushing the buttons now? Like, I can't be bothered. It's just, it's just too much effort, you know? It's too like, much effort to even bother. Is it even it. worse? What was the last one? What was the last kill he got on... Let's have a look. I think it's going to be worth like 220 gold. If I can actually scroll up. Uh, here we go. 310 gold. Oh, here we go. Cut and paste. Go back to cut and paste. And oh, he's, he's away. He's away. He's fine. He had 600 health. Yeah, heaps of, heaps Not of. even a He's going back to mind. farming before he even goes to heal. What a greedy goblin. He's so greedy. That's why we love him. I mean, he actually, if he had to farm that wave, he would have buyback. So, like, almost... Almost an okay play to do to farm a wave. For but Bobo. they are going to back up here onto Zen 9. They're going to be going for this Roshan as well. It is a cheese rush. It's not the ages of the refresh. But uh, who do you even who do you even give Axe to? <laughs> I think you give it Tanking. to Shatan. Really? Yeah, Shatan's Axe is huge because there, there's no big KBs on the other side. So it actually gets the freeze off. Uh, on the other side, though, you've already got Riz buying his own. Yeah, true. Which I'm not TA. sure he Give needs. TA for the memes. I think a hex is the go for Riz here, but he has committed. He's bought that point booster. Um, he just really wants that extra range to find those supports in the background. I mean that initiation range is insane, and you can like stun through an entire team. Yeah, well that's the big thing. They really there's only one hero on Flashpoint right now that is doing damage. Lon is doing a fantastic job stunning them and locking them down. Winterweaven is kind of getting jumped on quite a bit. You can't really blame him for that. But Baboon and Corrosive really haven't had a presence felt in these last few team fights. Look, the techies fell Look off. Look at him go, though. Look at him go. Whack, though. The There's still a tier one here. <laughs> mm, cut and paste. Not, not unlike him just to leave his own lane completely empty like that. And he's going to be saving for the Abyssal now, too. He's going to use that man. The shield just to farm. Yeah. Farm safe. <laughs> so many traps. Get him, boy. Get him, Corrosive. Look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so Woglet's lost it. Um, Corrosive has officially broken my Kokasa, so shout out to Oh Corrosive. my god. I actually love that though. He's like, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm worth less than a tier one right now. I'm what? just gonna go on. Gets the push back in. They will be able to kill Shatan straight away from the spot. He's dead for 90. He's got no buyback, he's already used it, so. A nice AJ pickup. running out of mana, but he's got that Aegis. Yeah. Again, Lon saving his team. You don't nice want to push 4v4. No. That's a really nice pickup. Oh, oh, someone's oh, dying to be there, no? Yeah, they're going to be oh. diving and instantly kill Farnsworth. They will get some sort of damage out now. Lon with the ulti going to be coming through. Big RP. The damage coming out from Clay. He hits so hard. They will be able to take down the Aegis at least. Riz now going to be the follow-up. The cheese going to be used here. Epicenter as well. Clay just standing still and hitting him. Will take down the Sand King. Now he wants to go on to EJ. The Aegis obviously has already been popped. The Winter Wyvern ult is going to be used. Not sure if that was the play. Everybody's stunned here too as well. Baller though going to get bashed up. No mana left. Clay just... Blinking past him, he's not the one he wants. He wants EJ here. We'll be able to take down. EJ's Baller. dead too. Corrosive gets himself a thousand gold. EJ gonna go down as well. Flashpoint showing that they are still in this game. Cut and paste. He stood absolutely still and just hit them. That whole fight. Yeah. Lon got a big RP as yeah. well. Like there's that's something something to think about. Like he died for the boys just then. He committed, like, he went negative net worth. Look Everyone at else. their experience. Look at the damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bit of damage coming out of Baboon just for the AOE. But yeah. Jesus. <laughs> he hit for 700. Techies did a bit. Techies did all right. But 
This might be... They have to force buybacks. Force buyout, buy yeah. yeah. They need to force buybacks. They need to switch the Who are, Yeah, So they've all got buyouts. Yeah. Bar Zeus being a bit of a greedy boy. I don't even know if you buy out for one Rax, though, as Baller. I, I think care. you use one buyback because they don't have the cleave. Because yes. you don't have to commit all three. One's enough to back them off. You can reset the fight, wait for the next ages, which I know is a while away. It's going to be probably five to seven minutes area. Um... But still, Flashpoint, they're showing signs of life. They really they really dug in there. Yeah, look, they were like a 1%. Now they're a 9. Heaps better. 150 gold a minute on the Techies. Techies is level 20. I mean, <laughs> surviving in a fight with XP gain look, always look gives you gold. a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's rich. That's, he's got the Ags now. He's actually going to start <laughs> playing Dota soon. <laughs> he's in the game. Corrosive has done it. The Madman. The Madman only had to die 15 times for his team to have a chance. <laughs> That's what he actually did. He's like, you know what? We're so far ahead of these boys. I'm going to let them kill me a bunch of times, and then we're going to play Dota. He got, a, th he got a thousand gold, too, because he got the kill onto uh, Baller in mid. He did, too. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. 1145. Yeah. Plus, he would have got a lot of gold from the assist to the other he, ones. He got like 3,000 gold that fight. Yeah. He's living the dream. And going to see the smoke up now from Everyone these boys. but Clay. Yeah. And <laughs> you know where he is. <laughs> He's found a creep wave. <laughs> He's like, I get more from this creep wave than a kill. I like this though. So you've shown oh. anti-mage in the mid lane. Yeah. So they're going to be less scared of where he is. So they, they're going to think he's in the mid lane. He's farming this area. Do they find Riz here? I don't think they do. Oh, oh they might. Clay finds him with the big mana burn coming out now. He doesn't. He does have enough. Lon, he gets a massive RP. The ult is going to come out from anti-mage. Everybody's just melting. Lon now in a lot of trouble, though. Roger's going to be going down. Baller, can he stand his ground? He's just not that strong. They go now onto the Crystal Maiden. The ult is coming out from the Venom Answer. Baller, he's in a lot of trouble. Can he turn this one, though? Clay's just going to bash him up. He's got no mana left now. He's just Riz, a really he jumped out of his smoke. Riz, no. He's dead. He's dead. Riz is going to go down here. He does have the buyback. Baller. Let's, there too. Let's, die back. Let's die back from Baller. That's going to be three down with no buybacks. EJ's the only man standing. Lorna again with the RPs. And Kai's just so strong. Riz now has to buy back. Uh, what is he doing? <laughs> Zero damage. 300 damage. 300 damage. Oh, God. So this is what you, what you say. When you say there's a 1v5 game happening right now, just show them this. Just show them cut and paste. It's literally Lon blinking and clicking R, <laughs> and then and cut and paste finding someone with no mana, and just going, their whole team's dead. Yeah, I've got, oh my god. If, if they actually win this game, the thing is, EJ is split pushing. He's just taking tier fours. Do they find him? Yules? Yules, 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 he gets him! Alright, so EJ's in a lot of problems here. If they do get the poison out, he's just gonna instantly turn and kill Kuro. He's got bigger B in one second. I think he can fight. Oh, but Clay Clay's comes here. back! He leaves the top lane, they get the Abyssal off now. He's evading so much, but EJ's just gonna die. He does have buyback though. It's not the end of the game. He's got buyback, he pulled Clay out of their base. He didn't get the racks either top. Oh my good, how close did he get? Not he that close. Uh, he chose, he he chose like the TA. Six, yeah, 600. Yeah. The TA pickoff's probably worth it more. You <laughs> use the TP. Oh, this is getting this is getting tight. If you're Zen 9, you are sweating right now. There is a lot of sweat happening on Zen 9. They had this game in the bag. and Flashpoint Gaming are not letting this one go. Yeah, I mean... The big one is I've roasted Corrosive all game, but that Yules might have just, you know, made the game playable for them. Made, made Classic it cut and pace, going through backdoor protection to take a tier 3. And a Rax. Yeah, I think he takes two Raxes here. I mean, huh? I think uh, he takes two balls here. They, they think TA doesn't have buyback. That's going to show them that they have to go for the Rax. Back it off a little bit, take the Rax. I like this though, because you still get two Raxes, I believe. I think he just TPs top and gets the melee Rax. Blinks, and there's yeah. nothing you can do. That's a nice play. As well, they so they thought as soon as they started hitting that Rax, when the TA didn't buy back straight away, they're like, she doesn't have it. But they forced it by doing yeah. it. Well, I, I don't even know if she doesn't have it. It was that we need to force this buyout because now we have a win condition. We win the next fight. We kill either of the two cores, and there's only one Rax left. There's only one lane we have to worry about, yep. and that's just your boy Techies pushing yeah, the lane I out. was about to say, you know what's really good to have in this stage of the game where you have to defend your base constantly? Techies. I think Techies needs to just put Stacey's traps everywhere. 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 Litter this entire thing. So if EJ tries to jump in, he has to BKB. All Otherwise he dies. Yeah. And this BKB, it's getting low. It's at five, five. seconds. I don't... Uh, this one's at seven. So 
It's but Chaos Knight's surviving through like the initial RPs into everything, but his whole team's dead. That's the thing, they just kite him around. Riz dying in the top fight was a bit rough because he came out of that smoke to make sure Bala might get away. Knowing he had the buyback, but Bala didn't. And they both die for it. They're and scouting. look at that net worth! What is he doing, the madman? It's disgusting. He's got his own moonshot now as well. He's going to go for the satanic next. I like that a lot. He doesn't need the, he doesn't need the treads anymore. He's going to go with satanic. He's probably going to have a Boots Travels 2 sitting in his backpack. Yeah. The Ag Synth could be coming out soon, which with the new update What's isn't hot. Just, so uh, if you kill someone with it, uh, it puts it cool on down. cooldown. Yeah. Whatever your last spell was. Yeah, It works on ults. Uh, no, it doesn't work on ults anymore, does it? I I've honestly was... never seen it in a competitive game, so yeah. I don't even know if it works on Ultimates. I can't honestly remember. It's I've not never seen good, it in a game, yeah, actually. It's, it's not very good. It's like a bristleback counter, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Your bristleback can now do nothing for yeah. the next minute. Your bristleback has no nasal goo for 75 seconds. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> um, and for those seconds. wondering, like saying, oh, 75 seconds isn't that long, it doesn't start until you spawn. Yeah. So it's a long. It's 75 seconds where your hero is useless once. It's a lot. Corrosive. He takes the arcane room. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the meme of today. Just corrosive. Corrosive. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Cut and paste. If he finds someone here, he's he's looking for Riz pretty heavily. He, he sees him with that ward. Oh, oh, gets the others. Oh, oh, oh. He's so slow too. From yeah. So that new sandstorm. Oh, well, not new, but the 25 that you don't really see too often. Slow and blind. The slow and blind. The blind's really good too, because he doesn't have like an MKB or anything. Doesn't so. have MKB, doesn't have BKB, but the issue is are you willing to let your entire team sit in the 50% slow and blind, <laughs> or are you going to just get kited and jumped around? Yeah, and now obviously both teams are always going to know. Anti-mage is huge! He's too. just going, he doesn't care! Look at this, he's got, he's got 3.6k health right now. Yeah, he's pretty big. I think he's he's basically unkillable unless he gets entirely picked off by himself. Yep, and he's gonna be going for this Roshan. Is it a Axe or a Refresher? Oh, it's a Refresher. Lon, get in here, big boy. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> he was so building good. a Refresher anyway. He gets a free one. Yeah, I mean he'll use the Shard da, one, da, da, and then da, by the time I the think, Shard one's been used, I have think his own. you turn around and buy a BKB. You got two thousand gold. You got the refresh shard. I think you buy a BKB. But nah, yeah, but then you're all in on that shard. If you use the shard and you don't end the game, you've got your refresher up. True, so but you can do you, it again. If you have that BKB, you no longer die in these team fights. And you're seeing what's happening. Clay will win the team fight, but he won't have him power anymore, and the push just stalls. Either way, both of them are really good. The ages on Clay, I reckon, is a bait. <laughs> I reckon he was unkillable. <laughs> but who else would you give it to? <laughs> Baboon, I guess. I mean, Baboon's. Wards are going to start doing a lot of damage. They're, 120, they're 13, 50 health. You're going to start slow oh, sieging. Tanking just stunned for that rune. Are they going to jump on him? Did they find him? I think they found him. Uh, he's, okay. he's okay. They found Zeus though. Roger is a dead man right now. <laughs> oh, the instant! <laughs> that wasn't an missile. The instant <laughs> first at bash. He's dead anyway. Like, yeah. I don't think that TP That's ever goes That's insult to injury though. Like, yeah. it is. He, he would have died anyway. It yeah. just, it's just a real big and feels bad. EJ, he's, he's really starting to struggle here. He can't really find a window where he can play Dota. Also, we haven't talked about it yet, but they were a twenty over 20k gold ahead on Zen9. Now they're 4k ahead on Flashpoint. Yeah, we want to see the little graph. Bang! Ooh. <laughs> this, I reckon this is going to be a... If Flashpoint to win, it's going to be a 40k swing. Yeah. And, uh, see, oh, what oh, what? No! How did that happen? He's glimmered. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine for now. He's going to take the racks. Okay. Oh the Shatan just straight up almost just died for nothing. And Did now their whole team's here. I feel like he got They're baited. just going for it. Uh, Zeus? Are you buying back? EJ? Where are you? EJ's at their base. And Techies is there defending. Uh, EJ is bringing, coming, coming in. But they're playing 4v5 Dota right now. Or 4v4 with Zeus dead. Okay. But Start. Boone's all in the front line. Knowing yeah. he's got Clay the cheese. Clay's just going in. He's got the Aegis. He knows he can fight them and die and it not matter. Bala's in the background though. Yeah, Bala's gonna try and do what he can, but Lon's gonna be there as well. The Aussie coming out from Baboon. Nice stuns coming out from Riz. Everybody's still pretty healthy though. BKB's gonna be there. Where's the anti mage? He does come in. The BKB gonna be used on the CK. Will survive Clay. He's taking a lot of damage here. He does have that Aegis though. It doesn't matter if he dies once. It's if he, he dies again. He needs to get out now, yeah. Yeah, Riz's gonna have that or big Does he reset? Stun. Does he look for Riz? He's thinking about it. He blinks he's looking he's through, the through the face. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> He's like, well, they've got nothing left. They have to reset here. They've all got their poison damage checking them down. They're going to be going for the throne. He's just blinking around. 
Baboon? Baboon? Sure to Baboon's reset still got cheese too. Yeah, he's going to go in. Kaino on the back end. The oh, Kai EJ, no! EJ, EJ he's out. taking so much damage. The sun's going to be coming out long here with the skewer through. Their throne is slowly dying here. Now CK is going to be using that Aussie. They're going to back out. They're going to reset this one. They've got no tier fours left. Corrosive, get out! Corrosive, why did you just come in? <laughs> no. What are you doing? Rosie, what are you doing? <laughs> is he going to get out? <laughs> There's no way he gets out, though. Corrosive just... He's like, I want to be a part of it too, guys. He doesn't even have buyback! <laughs> Alright, five seconds. Okay. okay so it wasn't it. a complete waste of time for Corrosive. He has the buyback. He's getting buyback anyway. But still... <laughs> still, that shows a lot of how this game's going. Corrosive, I don't know what his plan was there. Meanwhile, Clay's got another 8,000 gold. He can, grab, he can grab himself the Agonims if he wants it. I mean, it'll cost him 6.2 as long as he's got buyback, it doesn't matter. I, I think he should buy bots Riz? now. Oh, Riz. Anti-Mage can't die here, though. He does have the buyback, though. So it won't be the end of the world. Two buybacks go out for that. They yeah. are not letting Clay die. I think it's the wrong way around, though. I think Clay was fine. The buybacks should have come... Oh. oh, do they CK? find a hero? He's got, he's got the BKB, but he can still get bashed. Abyssal is down, though, but the bash comes out here. BKB going to be running out very quickly. It is down. He does have the clue. Oh, he pulls it back. Lon gets him again. Now they don't want to let him now. He's dead. he's dead. He's dead. All the mines go off. He just clicks no the whole leg. for 250 gold. He's okay. dead. <laughs> he's dead. He can't come back. Is that it? Oh, my God. They're doing it. Are they doing it? Oh. How long until he has buyback? What does he need? He needs 250 gold. It's not coming. It's not coming. Look at that damage just to kill him, though. Yeah, it took a lot. But Clay, he's in Clay? there. He's in. Is he going for kills? No, okay. So he's going to be hitting the throne. The sun's going to come out from Riz. He's got I that shield I think this is game. They can't, game? they can't stop him. They can't stop him. There's a fight strong. happening on the bot down here. No, it's over. It's can't over. Can't he's going to take it. Five <laughs> foot game again. Black gonna base. Bang Lon. Oh, my goodness. What? What a turnaround. Lon absolutely crushing this game. Lon with the RPs. CMP, we talked about the anti-mage pick. We talked he about... He went 19 and 1. We, we talked about not liking it and saying, oh, this is what's going to make them lose. Picking up the anti-mage and... Oh, my God. Flashpoint Gaming. Winning a 4v5 game. That's the biggest part of that. I'm not giving any credence to that techie's pickup <laughs> at all. But cut and paste out of his mind. Lon, I think he might have just hit some of the best RPs of his life. That was insane to watch. I've got, I've got nothing, man. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Flashpoint Gaming beat Zen 9 2-1. And the way they beat them, too. They beat them with a 21 minute clinical stomp, and they beat them with a 50 minute disaster fest. <laughs> There is no other words to describe what just happened. I've, I've got no words, man. I've got absolutely no words. Flashpoint Gaming just played out of their minds. Lon, that was like the best I've ever seen him play. I yeah. don't think I've ever seen Lon do With no than money that. either. No. He had 10,000 net worth in a 52-minute game. That's pretty pathetic. And Anti-Mage to... ended the game with 46k net worth. <laughs> I mean, it shows where their priorities lay. They had it all in on cut and paste, and it worked out for them. And... Right now, Flashpoint must be pretty happy. They're going to be screaming in their mic saying, we've done it, boys. We've done it. We've taken down Zen9. So that's going to push Zen9 out of stage one. The yeah. first team to go. They're going to be stuck waiting, sitting patiently waiting, seeing who comes out of the qualifiers. Well, it's a couple of weeks before they'll play again now. Yeah, I think three weeks, I think. Mm, I'll pretend to say that I know and say yes, but uh, I can't remember. I could be wrong. Either way, we're not going to see Zen9 for a while, and they're going to have to sit some backseat gamers. They're going to have to be in the Twitch chat talking about what went wrong, and they're gonna, I'm sure they're going to be commenting on every game from now. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? Is that I don't think anyone came into this tournament thinking that Zen9 would be taken out this early. And the way they've been taken out, Darksider with two ridiculously long slugfests, and then Flashpoint having another slugfest 50-something minutes in against an anti-mage, Cut and Paste's most renowned hero. It's good to see Cut and Paste finally win with the anti-mage, but that is it for our first best of three of the day. We will be back very shortly with the next series.
Remember where it started. Your first experiences. Remember where you came from. The journey you traveled. The journey you love. Remember where it started. And imagine where it will go. Rise on. G'day, mate. Mr. Murray. Have you decided on a name? We're thinking Callum. <laughs> this is Callum Murray. <laughs> no, Callum Murray to the seafood aisle. Callum Murray? Why'd they name you that? <laughs> I take you. Callum Murray. <laughs> Let's make a jack. Drink it through with Dare Ice Coffee.